64-bit legend. Welcome. Legend of the game like Golden Eye. I'm more than right. Yeah. The perfect dart is dreams that seem to come to life. 64-bit, the shit, it's as real as it yeah. gets. We can yeah. talk sports, games, and music. Take your pay. Take your pay. Click the news, pull up and crack a brew. Crack. Smoke one with the crew. Smoke. Tune in and take a view. Watch. We're here to raise the bar from the lowest yeah. mark. Sit your yeah. ass down and listen. It's time for the show to start. Well, uh, welcome to, uh, again, to 64-Bit Legends' new episode. It's a brand uh, new episode. Brand new episode. Um, one of your hosts, uh, Bobby Caboose, at B-K-A-B-O-O-S-E on Twitter. And uh, you can find this show on, uh, or follow us on Twitter at 64-Bit Legends. Uh, we're now on Spotify. Yep iTunes, iTunes, Google Play, yep, right? yep, and uh, we, by the time this episode comes up, we'll be on YouTube. Absolutely, and uh, yeah, today we're gonna do a little something different because uh, Mario Party's being a bitch, so we gotta do uh, we're gonna do Chef's Love Shack, the South Park ripoff of Mario Party, and we have a, a special guest today. Yes, um, again, <laughs> um, you know he goes by one name like Seal or Madonna or Prince mm-hmm. or. Kevin. Kevin. Um, <laughs> guy I know my whole life, a Detroit security guard. Uh, my boy Moose. Moose, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Hey. Yeah, hopefully uh, <laughs> Thank you. Hopefully, this Thank is you. the second take and last take, you know, of this shit. <laughs> Fuck. I just got concussed from hitting my hof- head How about on uh, three giant trophies just <laughs> fell on his head? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if I kind of lose it a little bit, I'm sorry. No, we'll be all right. If as long as you just don't start bleeding from the ear, you'll yeah. Be good. So everyone's got to push A to join. Yeah, and, uh, join in in the party. You want to uh, plug your Twitter? And oh yeah, I forgot. So yeah, it's uh, Melvin Try M E L V I N T R zero Y on just everything. Um, on tw- I, I was streaming on Twitch the other day at like four in the morning doing Pokemon. I was getting so many good trades. These people were coming all over the place giving me trades at three in the morning. I'm like, who the fuck does this? So go there and trade me Pokemon. That'll be cool. <laughs> Um, oh, I gotta pick my yeah. Pick so my guy. I picked I picked Kenny. I guess I'll be Stan. I'm going Carmen. Over Again, there. we're playing uh, Chef's Love Shack. Yep. This is the second time I've ever played this. Yesterday was the first. Yeah, I don't. Uh, let's do hot and heavy. Let's hot get a hot heavy. and heavy we're round getting, going. Let's do it. We're let's going it. hot and heavy today. Let's fucking uh, school this thing. So I I uh, I believe we have a a sponsor read we should probably get into since we're at the top of the show. Do you have a sponsor read today? I thought you had one. Oh. <laughs> All right, I got one, guys. Oh, you got, got it? One. Okay. Yeah. What is? Mo- I don't have one. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Uh, actually, we do have a sponsor this week. Okay. It's uh, from uh, Dana's Amish Cookies. Oh. If Dana. you want to live like the Amish, go see Dana. Oh, nice. I mean, they don't really have a slogan or anything, but shit, I heard they're good. They got they got good cookies. They're they Amishly made. They sound yeah. good. They're, the the butter is churned, at, you know, themselves. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, they usually uh, have like their, their children good. churn the butter for them. That's children made butter. Children made butter by Dana. That's yep. the best kind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Better than duck butter. Oh, Absolutely. Man. All right, what are we doing? Oh, All right, yeah, you have to pick. Someone's got to pick. I don't know who is. Pick- I think I have control. All so right. we'll do da- D- Dana holes. Dana holes. Dana holes. So it asks you a question. Festo probably has a timeshare here, um, and you got to buzz in. And I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess Gilligan's Isle. Gilligan's Isle. Fucking A. Nope. And you lost. I'm going to buzz in. Um, the Island of Dr. Moreau. Nice. Yep. Did you actually know that, or did you? I knew that. The, I think the the I inspiration no for the character is based off of Marlon Brando's character from the Island of Dr. Moreau. If you want to see a really bad movie, just watch the Island Impressive. of Dr. Moreau. Impre- I'm impressed. With Marlon Brando and Velcro. Well, you got to pick another category, oh, so it's shit. just going to randomize since you didn't pick. Oh. See, this one I think we got to pay a little bit That's more. That's the one I wanted really to get sure. picked. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Jimbo, what's field dressing? Um, I got this. Skinning and getting, or gutting? Gutting, or gutting. Yep. Or just getting. Pee in a pool. I'm doing it. The mighty hermaphrodite. <laughs> Pee in a pool. <laughs> uh oh. I, I used to, I, as a kid, I remember going to uh, the beach, and uh, oh, you got to make your bet. Oh. I don't know what that means. How much are you gonna bet? 
I remember going to the beach though, and I'd be swimming in the water, and I'd be like, I'd be kind of cold in the water, and then all of a sudden I find a nice warm spot, and I'm like, oh man, this is so awesome. And then later I realized <laughs> that's just a puddle of pee. Just that was someone's in... pee. Yeah, that was definitely someone's. Pee. I was taking warmth in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, when we went to the Dominican, I mean, we were in the pool for like by the pool bar for ten hours, and no one ever got out. You know, and you're drinking yeah, the whole right. time. You're drinking all day, so, and no one gets out the pool. Someone's yeah, someone's just walking around with a fucking purple ring around. Gu- guilty as charged, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> we we would just point at each other when we were pissing. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, just don't go under. <laughs> all right, so this game, so you just you got to launch a frog on a lily pad. I'm guessing. So, oh yeah, this is right. pretty easy. Just go. Yeah, all right. I could do that. I've launched frogs before. Have you? Yep. All right. Oh, see, I, oh no, that was me. I don't, I'm Stan. How do you get like the? I started out hot. Oh, I see. I'm throwing too much heat. You gotta throw a little heat here. Like this shit is impossible, dude. There like we go. kids play this? Well, it's, smart kids. Well, it's, it's rated <laughs> M for for adults. So, but yeah, of course, kids played it. Oh yeah, I got a I got one on a small one. I remember this was the shit back then. As a kid, I had everything South Park. I still got those like. Uh, Stuffed figurines from yeah. like the nineties. Yeah, in yeah. The, uh, living room. Your boy killed it. Yeah, man. You shit. Oh, did I? I got it. Damn. I didn't know I uh, was schooling it there. You Wasn't were. even paying attention. Oh, oh, fudge, maybe. So you were you were gonna tell us about some crazy shit that uh, happened uh, downtown the other day? Uh, well, yeah, like you said, like, what two weeks ago or something? Yeah, and I made you, I made you stop. Yeah, well, I don't want to get too into it. Uh, uh, okay. We, uh, there was a guy who. Jumped off a parking structure oh, Jesus. about two weeks ago. Oh damn! Yep, and I, yep. <laughs> and all I'm gonna say is, uh, your your jaw's not supposed to go through your face. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! God damn. So, uh, so were you like the first re- person there? First I responder? I wasn't there that I wasn't there that night. That's uh, I was still I was on vacation out in Seattle, but uh, my buddy was texting me the whole time. Oh damn, oh, man. Um, that's but that, that's just the most recent thing. Does that happen often? Uh, more than you'd like. Oh man. Yeah, because you. I mean, you told me that like a homeless person shit in a mop bucket, which I thought that was kind of funny. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, at the time, at the time, it wasn't funny, but it's funny. It, it's funny now. It's funny now. Well, I mean, you know, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah. Right. I mean, at least when there the was bathrooms like, locked. You know, at least there was like chemicals in it, right? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah there's the chemicals cleaning, in the cleaning there. material. They were, they were not happy, the cleaning people. <laughs> no, they're like, how am I supposed to clean right. shit when there's already shit in the bucket? Right. <laughs> oh, man. So uh, as far as uh, uh, this this coronavirus, have you have you battened down the hatches at home? Have you stocked up on the toilet paper? Have you uh, gone and- You know what? My wife went shopping, what was it, yesterday, and she had the worst time of her life, she said. She said it was fucking bullshit the whole time. Oh, yeah. It was crazy. I, I haven't gone out and uh, dealt with it, but you know what? I think we got toilet paper right before all this shit happened, so <laughs> we're pretty... We got one of well, those and, like, big packs. And, uh, you know, your wife's a nurse, so right. she's uh, she's probably a little bit more level-headed about this shit than other people. Yeah, she is. She is. Yeah, that helps. She's not totally, like, fucking retarded about it. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I said it the other day where I, I went to Kroger and I was I was looking for a fight because I was hoping to just jump in on a brawl yeah, or something. Yeah, walk into something. Yeah, yeah. And, and there was one guy, as you're walking around and all these shelves are empty and he, he was just at his peak, I could tell. He was just screaming. He's like, what is this, Russia? Are we living in Russia right now? Where are we? <laughs> and I'm like, I, you know what? I, I you don't know what to point. respond. Yeah. I, I, I would rather him responding like that than just, you know, I don't know, freaking out and taking a shit in a mop bucket or something. I don't know. Well, uh, <laughs> speaking of fights, um, a few years ago, uh, me and Moose were at uh, a bar. Uh, what was it? The Box or Black Market at the time? A yeah, really high end place. And... Uh, <laughs> one of us, we won't name who, threw a chicken wing that was on a uh, on our table for some reason over our heads by the dance floor. Didn't hit anyone. Didn't even come close to hitting anyone. But uh, these punk asses tried to come and be tough guys to us, and we ended up getting a brawl over a, a chicken wing. Yeah, over a chicken. Wing. And the Jeez. thing is, is they they came over, asked us if we threw it. We said no, right? Mm-hmm. And you know, Some obviously, we did. well done, Kenny. 
Thank you, thank you. He fucking schooled it there. So, um, he did. <laughs> so it, the guys come over, try to be tough guys, you know, ask us if we did. We say no. They turn around, and so we turn around, and then they sucker punch Kowalski in the face. Oh, nice. <laughs> and um, then Moose tackled the dude, and I believe he just choked him out, like, on the ground. Um, K- Kowalski had a toothpick in his mouth. And uh, oh, really? it didn't even fall out of his mouth when he got punched. So really? <laughs> Who just, is he, Razor Ramon? I, I'm not, <laughs> that, hey, that's the first thing I thought of as well. <laughs> What's right. happening to Carmen? Carmen's getting probed or something. 20 seconds, 10 questions, left, right, choose his answer. Play, answer 7 out of 10 questions correctly. Or he looks like, who's got to answer these? Is I it do. you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, is it Car- Carmen's got to answer I these? Don't, I can't read Left that. or right? Nope. Oh, it's me. Oh, is it? Um. Or is it as a group? I don't know. No. I can't select anything. Yeah, I can't. What is going on here? Which know. star in search of does the word or phrase best describe Bigfoot? I'm thinking. I'm, he's I'm guessing he's getting probed right now. Yeah, I don't yeah, even know it. what's going oh, on. I can't they shut save the you. curtain. <laughs> but they, uh, you were, dude, you were on top of the dude, like choking him, and the the waitresses were just like throwing water on you. Yeah, a uh, waitress dumped <laughs> a pitcher of water on me, and I. <laughs> I don't know. I think they. I think she's seen it on Bar Rescue or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> she's like, hey, is this how you break up a fight? Just throw a pitcher of water. I don't in. know, dude. <laughs> and then and then they kicked uh, the bouncers. Kicked those guys out and ended up buying us all a round of shots. I really? had a good. I had yeah. a good night. No, that's all right. I guess it ends in a win. I had a good night. Uh, which state is the home of the Internal UFO Museum? It's got to be. I don't know. It's, I think it's New Mexico. That's what I tried that's to pick, what, actually. That's, <laughs> that's what I tried to pick. Actually. All right, all right. I just all right. It first. Yeah, this game, uh, I'm not sure about this game. I'm not sure about it. We'll see how it... Uh, Snow forts? It doesn't, it doesn't really stack up to, to Mario Party quite the same. Right. It doesn't have, like, there's... You guys ever uh, do uh, Revenge? Oh, WCW? No. Yeah, not yet. Actually, we're, on St. Patrick's Day, we're planning on doing WrestleMania, but we're putting a Royal Rumble on, but watching the computer play. Okay. And we're doing, like, because we do these drinking Royal Rumble editions, so, like, basically, we would pick an order. Um, I don't even know what I'm doing here, but... Uh, we, yeah, I don't, I don't love this game, man. <laughs> we, yeah, uh, I don't blame you. That's, that's not great. How are you doing that? Oh, <laughs> uh, you got to push both buttons. <laughs> I, I was going. Now I'm not going anymore. <laughs> yeah, what happened? <laughs> what the fuck? Why can't I eat anymore? Uh, wait. It just says to push. But um, <laughs> this game is fucked. What the this fuck? Game is fuck? This is a terrible game. Um, <laughs> no one's eating. It got to a Nobody's point. Nobody's hungry. Nobody's hungry. Oh, how do we? All right. I oh, I ate the plate. And then oh, you, you have to get, Yeah, you have to get the pie away. Oh, I did. I pause it. Oh no, the game's over. <laughs> you had to move the pie <laughs> away. Pretty good. Um, but uh, yeah. So we would pick, you know, numbers like well, even or odd or whatever. And so every other guy would be ours. And when, once your guy gets eliminated, then you have to drink half a beer. Okay. So we've done them with like royal, real Royal Rumbles and like video game ones, and you get pretty fucked up. So I think Chef Love Shack just died on us. That sounds like a good time. Though. Fucking a man. Well, I'm just we'll just fucking we'll just keep going. We we'll just keep going. All right. We just minus the games. So this is a very special episode. Yeah. It's the coronavirus. It's coming in and it's infecting it's everything it infected at 64s you know like nope. out of all the technical difficulties we could have the nintendo 64 was the least of my worries yeah i didn't think that that would have gotten affected so as badly so oh well a little we right. could, yeah we'll, let me uh let me let me try to plug in another game watch out up top there yeah yeah all right <laughs> yeah. I, yeah i won't get hit in the head by a fucking shelf again no it's uh yeah, it might we might be able to get something to work. I think it's might be the sixty four. Might have to switch that one out. I got another one downstairs. We'll make it work. I I like the. I, yeah, there we go. Make sure that sticker's not on there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. All right, so let's see if WrestleMania two thousand works. It's just no. not coming up. No. I think the I think the sixty four is just I Taking think a shit I think the sixty four took a shit. I think that's what it is. Huh. Well, well, yeah, I'm not it's disappointing. Right? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it does suck. We can keep we can keep going though. Yeah, we can, we can keep, keep going. We can I mean, communicate. Actually, uh, this is a perfect time for the uh, the the new segment that debuted last week. The legend, legend, legend of the week. 
you know? You yeah, like that? I do you like, like that? I, I do like it. I, I, you know, know. You're just <laughs> kind of staring at me, yeah. but I think I'm crazy. <laughs> but uh, the le- this, week's, <laughs> this week's legend is uh, none other than Sean Hunter from Boy Meets World. Oh, Sean Hunter. So the reason Sean Hunter becomes the legend of the week is this dude literally got t- uh, as much teenage pussy as anyone's ever going to get. Right. In the show, I mean, there was an episode in the show where the girl that plays Alex Mack wants to date him, but she's Alex worried. Alex Mack, I forgot about She's her. worried because he gets a new girl every two weeks. Like, right. this dude is a straight-up pimp at yeah. John Adams High. He, yeah. Or wherever. I think, I he, think did for, he did pretty well for right. himself at John Adams. Yeah. He did school it. Um, you know what I liked about that show, though, too? So they went to Elm- It was They started elementary school, right? Yeah. Like uh, elementary school kids, probably like sixth grade or something. They went through high school in the same school. Feeny kept following them around, though. Yeah. Like if you look back at it now, like yeah, that would be kind of creepy. Do something about Feeny. Yeah, he's a little out of control. He, he's well, a little no, bit well, much. well, and he he just happens to live directly next door. Well, yeah. yeah the thing is, though, is <laughs> like, he started off right. as their teacher, and then I think he got a promotion to the principal. Doesn't he go school. to like college with him? Yeah, he does. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say next. Let's, yeah, he ends up uh, becoming a professor. He's yeah. like, I'm gonna quit being a principal. Fuck the salary and the pension. <laughs> I'm going to become a professor it, now in college. I'm 100 years old. I'm going to go be a professor now. Yeah. He, 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 look, he was looking out for his kids. You know? Yeah. I he's, wish, a, uh, he's a good neighbor, you know? I yeah. wish, uh, you know... He's like State Farm. I wish <laughs> I wish Mr. Manzella did that. Manzella did that for us. Right, right. Where was Manzella when I needed him? Yeah. I mean, your life could have changed I never needed up. him. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, maybe your life wouldn't be in shambles. But right, right, yeah. right, right. Since you didn't need him. Manze- Wait a minute, Manzella. Didn't he, didn't he t- teach science? Uh, he he taught in uh, our elementary school. Yeah. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm yeah, thinking like, of someone else. And then he became, like, principal later. Oh, Did he? Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah, like after Fly left. Fly? That's yeah. when I stopped caring, I guess. Yeah. We. Uh, I mean, that school had, I'm not going to mention <laughs> it, but that school had, like, ten different principals in, like, four years. Really? After Fly, yeah. No kidding. That's yeah. a fly ass name, though. It oh, is. Yeah. She was fly too, dude, yeah. and she was black, dude. Really? Like you yeah, know, we it, back fl- in the day, we didn't have many blacks around. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it's true. <laughs> it's true. I mean, yeah, I mean, right, it's a right, pretty right. white suburb. Right. Yeah. It is. So, it is. Um, but, um, <laughs> very nice white c- out here. <laughs> nice catch. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and her like dad was like the defensive coordinator of the Vikings or some shit. Yeah, what? It was yeah. the Vikings. It was the Vikings. What the fuck's going? This was in elementary school. Yeah. Oh, that could have been your Feeny. Imagine if that was your Feeny. Dude, oh man, I wish it was my Feeny. Yeah, I wish it was. She could have been our fly. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> like fly. And then it, it, she, she said school like really weird. She was like skew. It was like, like Carmen. Carmen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I, he's like, I don't want to be the poor kid at skew. <laughs> So yeah, basically we had a, a black principal that talked like Cartman, I guess. <laughs> we did. I, that's like the only remember the thing I remember of her in the Vikings thing. Yeah, I remember the Vikings thing because I was like, like, that's whack. She'd be like, you guys gotta cop, stop calling off a skew. We gotta get this work done. <laughs> I'm like, yes, Mrs. Cartman, fly. <laughs> and then like we had like the giveaways for. Uh, for, uh, we, uh, we, like a Randy Moss jersey giveaway. I remember that. I don't even remember that. I don't mean, I'd, who, got, who got that much? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> who got that much? It wasn't anyone in our grade. I know oh, that. Yeah. Do you remember uh, the one kid? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm only going to say his last name. T.T.? No, <laughs> no. Gerard. And he was like, I'm Gerard. with Comerica Park. <laughs> Wait, I'm, what? I remember the daily announcements. I'll <laughs> yeah, tell you that. every day, dude. Like we, you, you probably had daily announcements. Yeah, at yeah, your yeah, school. yeah. Well, like it'd be like every single day. The uh, one of the announcements I know exactly was who like, you're talking about. He, he was like, "Hey, I'm you know so and so Gerard with Comerica Bank," but it was like a kid, and why I don't know what he had to do with Comerica Bank. Yeah, why is he with them? <laughs> like, what is he, <laughs> he, what is he doing? It was like child labor <laughs> he, <laughs> in our school. <laughs> he would make like some one weird kid, announcement on Comerica Bank. <laughs> <laughs> and like we're like okay I, I bet he's rich as hell right now probably i mean he got in he's early been, yeah he's been working there for how he's been earning he? a one percent interest on, yeah. on his investment since right. sixth grade right and he was like a couple years younger yeah. than us so it like went like, like how old was he doing know, this shit? i never i don't even know who the kid is <laughs> <laughs> i've never seen him before but i know it was a student and uh i've seen him <laughs> 
<laughs> he's real, dude. <laughs> he does he's, exist. He's out yeah. there. He's out there somewhere. I seen him. <laughs> he's like he's like uh, Slash. Yeah, <laughs> or <Vunder> Slash. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, no, I uh, I don't. I see. I moved around in elementary school a lot, so I I can I almost identified with Sean Hunter a little bit, but I didn't have the girl thing. <laughs> Right. And my dad wasn't a wrestler. <laughs> That's that was Frankie the Enforcer. Oh, I thought his dad was no. His like, dad was a truck driver who was never around. <laughs> he was oh. like a drunk mother. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Never mind. His name was yeah. Chet. No, oh, fuck Chet. Chet Hunter. All right, never it mind. Was, it yeah, Frankie. Oh, wait, didn't didn't they have an episode with Sean Hunter where it was similar to like uh, Fresh Prince, like when his dad, like when Will Smith's dad came and then like disappeared again? N- not not and, like, really. Sean Hunter's like, I don't need him, Uncle Phil. Not really. Oh, Remember when okay. he uh, moved in with that teacher who was getting a bunch of ass? And oh, like, yeah. yeah. And so, like, Mr. The, Turner. Yeah. yeah, so Turner was getting ass, and then he was getting the teenage ass, and it was just like both of them was just like getting so much ass. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, it was like a bachelor dude, pad. Turner was so awesome. Like he had a, a f- motorcycle? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then he got he a motorcycle just, accident. Yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah. yeah. When uh, when Sean went hey, to- is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> Is he okay? When yeah. Sean Hunter, How's he doing? How's yeah. he holding up? When Sean Hunter <laughs> um, tried to dry, uh, join that cult, <laughs> it was like Scientology, and he got in a uh, motorcycle accident. Wait, he got in a motorcycle accident when he joined the cult? No, uh, Sean sounds... Hunter tried to join the cult. Oh, oh. And uh, the guy was like, yeah, I'm bigger than God and all this shit. Uh, you know, and then uh, Turner got in a motorcycle accident, and Sean Hunter was like, I don't know what to do. And he like cried. And then oh. the Matthews family came and saved him. Oh, good. That sounds good. Yeah, Feeney took him in. Yeah, Feeney. He, swo- yeah. he swooped in. Actually, Feeney. <laughs> yeah. uh, Feeney dude, and his radar. The dude that ran the, the dude sunk that, his talons in. The, <laughs> the dude that ran the cult. The dude that ran the cult. Um, Feeney, like, tore his ass up, dude. He was. Like, oh, really? He, he's like, you don't love him like we love him. And uh, all this shit. It was, it was Holy a shit. I must have missed that yeah. one. Yeah, Powerful. It the, the be- sounds good. One of the better episodes, though, is when oh. Sean and Corey get drunk. And they piss on a cop car. Oh, really? What? Yeah. yeah. I missed this. I they I pissed on a cop car, and one. then they brought, got brought home by the uh-uh. cops. And Oh, man. Um, they get charged or what? I think so. Well, Mr. Matthews came down on Sean pretty hard. Oh, not Corey, though? He's <laughs> no, like, no, uh, not his own kid. Not my good He's boy. He's like, Corey, you're cool. Go, <laughs> yeah. go look at your baseball cards. Yeah, why don't you go? Here, here's a fifth of Jack. Just yeah, go in the corner. Yeah. I'm going to yell, yell at Sean. Who's not, even, who's not even my son. Yeah. Yeah, but Sean needed to straighten up his life. That's why he yelled at Sean. Yeah, so so wait a minute. Um, so as far as because I know I know Sean didn't Sean Hunter end up getting a kid? No, or is that Corey? He ended up having the kid. Neither of them had kids. Oh, what am I might think except for like Corey the, the spin off with Topanga. Yeah, she was, she was pretty right. She yeah, was yeah. Nice. And Sean ended yeah. up with that black chick who was also pretty right. She well, yeah, but she left him at the end, didn't she? Because he yeah. was going crazy. He was like, ah, I, I'm obsessed with her purse or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, that's a before. The, I, I think so. <laughs> there was a book. There was like a book. Of, there was a, okay. So there was a book. Where of, was Feeney? There was, <laughs> he was hiding in the corners. Yeah. He's just like rubbing his hands, Shirt like yes. He found it. Gonna come back to me now. <laughs> he found this purse, and there was a book of like poems in there. Right. And right. Sean oh, like started like falling in love with this person that he didn't know because <laughs> he only had the purse. So when she found the, she got the purse back, then he realized he was in love with Angela. Mm. You know, I could I could tell you the whole fucking series <laughs> if you want. I just yeah. I just really think that deep down there was something sinister about Feeney. Like they, there was like a sinister twist S- to him. Like mm. I, I don't know why. I he think was just he was too... a good guy deep down. Maybe, but I think I don't know. I, don't know. I think there was a darkness. I mean, him. he was hit, he was hitting <laughs> he was hitting the dean of the college. Was he? Yeah, he was. And oh, he, was. he killed a bee for her. A he, bee? Yeah, she was deadly allergic to bees. He's a hero. A, oh, man. A rare, Feeney's a hero. A hey, not, rare bee got onto her neck and I guess not all, it. not all Feenies wear capes. Yeah. This one doesn't. <laughs> his, his first he neck. just follows you from when you're a kid to when you're an adult <laughs> and lives next door to you. <laughs> this Feeney. George Feeney. Um, oh, man. I, I did have a... I think I told you I had a um, a vision of how, like, <laughs> how, how the show should have ended. Remember uh, what was the fucking kid's name they used to pick out? How did it end? Actually? Minkus. Minkus. How yeah. did it end? I don't remember, but I, I do, what I do remember. <laughs> Damn! How did it end? I know I watched it like a shitload of times. Um, I think Sean joined the military or some did shit. He? I don't know. I don't. That was the best move for him. Yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> probably. I mean, he's he was getting caught up in cults and like yep, yep. 
getting obsessed with every woman he comes in contact with. Uh, uh, Corey and Topanga got married. Oh, is that how it ended? Yeah. See, I was hoping for like it would when be, they were eighteen. By the way, I was hoping like Minkus would like make a return on the last episode. Yeah, and like yeah. you know, stage like like an event at the at the school at the old school. Be like hey, everybody come back, and then like Feeny's there, and then. And, you know, Corey comes back, and then Minkus, like, shuts the door, and he's like, all right, you guys aren't leaving now. And then it's, like, fades what, to black. What, a school shooting? Well, no, like, you don't know. Do it Soprano style. Like, you don't even know how it ends. It's fade to black. And, and then it, it's no, like, what did Minkus do? It, it looks like he's pulling something out of his jacket. Yeah. And then right. it just fades out. Yeah. Yeah, I, Minkus was a little creep, dude. He was. He, they, he should, was a, they should have resolved that storyline. should have gotten more airtime. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if there's anybody in that show that should have got yes. a little bit more airtime, it would have been Minkus. I would have, I would have a little said, less Feeny, a little more Minkus. I would have <laughs> said, I would have said a little bit more Vader, because he was, yeah, he was the enforcer's dad. Yeah. <laughs> I had seen. Uh, I don't know why this is relevant. Why Google keeps suggesting it in my newsfeed, but uh, apparently Frankie the Enforcer lost a bunch of weight. <laughs> so it keeps showing me these pictures. I'm like, look at Frank. I, I don't see know his real look name. Look at Frankie the Enforcer. <laughs> I see those, and he's like cut, dude. Yeah. yeah. Dude, like, he was fat as fucking remember the Titans. Right, right, yeah. right. I don't know his name. Frankie the Enforcer, bro. That's the only way I know him. Yeah. He- My name's Earl, too. He's on, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah I, right. so. I don't yeah. know. I don't know his fucking name. And he was in Blow. Was he? Yeah, yeah. he's Tuna. Yeah, he's no. Tuna and Blow and the fat kid in Renegar- Renegades. Fucking remember the Titans. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, that guy's a fucking maniac. He's just out there fucking losing weight. And yeah. Just getting shredded. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he's like Varga. Going to oh, Japan. Oh, Jesus man, Christ. That's a, that's a throwback. <laughs> and, uh, there was, I do remember that. Bama. That was a That was a fucking crazy Bama period of time. Bama got cut. It's like all of a sudden, all the fat kids, all the nerdy fat kids one summer come back and they lo- lose a ton of weight because they're playing Dance Dance Revolution the entire summer. I remember that. And you're just like, what the fuck's going on? Like, I look back and I was just like, I should have bought one of those. Like, I could have been in really good shape <laughs> and just had dancing the time, away. And had the time of your life, man. Yeah. And, and, and you'd have fucking, like, the best dance moves in town, dude. Exactly. I, I, yeah, I remember, like, uh, Barrymore's and stuff. Like, that line would be like, like there would be people watching those kids. Oh yeah, like there'd, there'd be a crowd mm-hmm. around them, like, like yeah, twenty people. They're, they're called losers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're called. They're only losers if they bought a ticket to watch them. Right, yeah, right. They, they have to queue up. And I'm like, <laughs> all right, only five at a time. You get the circle around you. I do remember that when that was like the shit. Yeah, uh, man. It, what it was, I, I thought it was kind of gross though, because you get this like chubby fat kid just sweating, and he's just like <laughs> moving his arms around like yeah. crazy, and it's you get like everywhere. yeah, you get like sweat just flying off into the air, lands in your like hey, your man. lips. That's dance dance. And you're like, dude. Mm, I got a taste <laughs> of this fat kid. That's that dance. dance I remember life. people <laughs> having it at home. Like you could buy like a little pad yeah. right oh, at yeah. your house and shit. Yeah, yeah, they had yep. little, like, uh, they looked like little, uh, tw- what was that, twister pads. You know, back, just... back to Feeney. Did, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's get back on a more Didn't more they topic. make, like, another season, like, another with, like, all new people? like a... Recently? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was Girl yeah. Meets World. Yeah. Is he on that shit? I don't know. I don't know if Feeney is. Like, Corey is. Corey and Topanga are, like, the parents. Because if he's on that. If he if he's like her teacher now, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like I'm not getting away from the Matthews. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> then we gotta check it. Yeah. He's he's got no family for himself. He's so. like a he's like a god. He, he's an immortal. <laughs> he just keeps showing up. Like 16 hey. generations later, he's like, yeah, oh, you've been watched by the Feeny. Amen. <laughs> he's like the top level boss. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it, man. Oh man. Fucking... Back, so back to Feeny. <laughs> Shit, man. He's trying to get off, uh, off of Feeney for a you little. You can't get bit. off. Him. I know. He yeah. won't get off you either. There he's he just, is. he's, <laughs> he's feeding for a good time. I, I can imagine him just like. <laughs> he, I go home. He's like moving in next door. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> we should. Uh, is he? Is he still alive? Um, maybe. I don't even know his name. I don't know. Feeney. Yeah, it's Feeney. Yeah, just that's all uh, I know him for. All right, I'm gonna Google this. Like, you know, be uh, really yeah, we're gonna fucking, look into this. You know, be really fucking crazy is like if he, like. <laughs> I just kind of picture him being like this immortal that can like morph into like an owl or something, and then he's like, like an anamorph, and he's waiting to come back. Yeah, he's just waiting he's to just come waiting back. Waiting to come back. Like till he goes, someone's born, and he, he can follow them their whole lives. Yeah, yeah he flies into a town, he picks a family, yeah. and he morphs back from an owl to a human, and he's like, well, I'm well, I'm Feeny. I'll just follow you the rest of your life. Yeah, It'd be creepy and live next door to you. <laughs> I wonder if he was Corey's best man. Oh, you know he was. Should be. 
I mean, actually, I think he was like the priest. I think. He yeah, was, you um, know he was. You know he was. was. Like, <laughs> what's his name, man? His his name is William Daniels. And, okay, so uh, Feeney. Yeah, that's way better. He's ninety two years old, bro. He's oh. still awake or alive. He's still awake. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't sleep. He's very <laughs> tired because he's old as shit, he's, and he doesn't sleep. <laughs> God damn, he's dude. He's been awake for 16 no years. No wonder he's everywhere. <laughs> he doesn't sleep. <laughs> yeah, man. He, he's a lot of... Let, let's <coughs> see what movie... He's, he was in... Okay, so he's been in a lot of films. I've seen him around, man. Yeah. I'm always like, <laughs> yeah, Well, I guess not that many films. Like, over 40 years, he's been in like 15 fil- films. No, oh, that's, a, that's, that's a solid career. He but made the he was in the, the latest one was Blades <laughs> of Glory. And Blades of Glory. Yeah, he was with, in that. Uh, Will Ferrell and um, oh, and their figure skaters. Yeah. Okay. And okay. then he was in before that. He was in the Bench Warmers. He would be. But, um, yeah, he was in a lot of weird shit that I've never heard of. Right. That's funny though. Yeah. But that's... he's always been nearby. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. I mean, he was on an episode of King of Queens. Was it as as Feeny? No. Oh. Yeah, what do you play? I he, can't remember. Um, I thought I've seen all those, man. So Spence and Archer or Archer. God damn, I can't talk today. Spence and Arthur. It's probably from your concussion. You I yeah, know, dude. dude. He's starting to slur words. <laughs> he probably check you out, bud. <laughs> he starts bleeding from the ear. They're gonna be <laughs> like they're gonna be I'm like, like he's did, fine. they're gonna be like, Do you have corona? Like I'll go to the doctor. You're you tested positive for coronavirus. Oh, by the way, did you know you have a concussion too? <laughs> yeah, that's what I came in here for, actually. But um <laughs> Arthur and uh, Spence uh, enter that shuffleboard tournament. I do remember that. And I do Feeney, remember Feeney that. Feeney is the guy that beats him. He's putting, really? like, he's putting powder on his feet. Yeah, Feeney, Feeney wins foot powder. Really? That's like the, oh, wait, that's, the, that's it's, like, it's, like a gift, it's like a gift basket. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's like for old guys. Well, yeah. he needs it. And he's like putting powder on his foot at the end. Well, he needs it when he walks the earth to find a new family. Yeah. Right, he's right. Gonna... No, he's an owl. He's just gonna oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. I was, I, yeah, I was going to uh, say he's probably living next to the Heffernans now. Yep. Since yeah. the Matthews probably like got, he, they probably went rogue, like went off the map, dude, just yeah, to get away like, from him. We can't get away from Feeney. Like, there's got to be. Feeney would find him. Like, there's when the, no question. When the cameras went off, like, if that was like a. If the, if Boy Meets World was a reality show and they turned the cameras off mm. and then later they're like, all right, just shut the windows. <laughs> shut the window. Don't let Feeney come in. Here. Turn off the he's lights. Coming. Just, we need to get away from him. Make sure he doesn't sleep. He never sleep sleeps. He and never he's like, sleeps. Mr. Matthews, <laughs> Mr. Matthews, are you there? And they're like, no, just be quiet. Go in the basement. You do, you do a pretty good Feeney, dude. Mr. Matthews, are you there? I have sandwiches. <laughs> I'm like, shut the door. Yeah. It's like, what, what was it? what's that movie where you can't fucking talk to the horror movie? Quiet Place yeah. or whatever? It's like that, but it's Feeney. He's the monster. You can't fucking make any I know noise he's in the a house. Monster. Yeah. I never even seen that movie, and I know it's Feeney. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, he just. <laughs> or what was, uh, what was that movie where, like, the monster ended up just being, like, a giant rabbit? What? At the end? Like, Cloverfield know. or something? Clover or something? The Cloverfield was, like, Wasn't they that? actually had, like, a, like, some sort of, like, bug. Thing. Oh, maybe that was a South Park Coronavirus. spoof. Might spoof have been. Then it was like a giant rabbit. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure what. The... <laughs> I never. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about either, dude. Like it's the concussion. It is yeah, the it's, concussion. that's just the concussion it's talking. The fuck, man. Now I know what Aaron we... Hernandez was going through. Oh, yep. Yeah. Shit. Yep. <laughs> I'd be. I'd be worried. Uh, Did you guys watch that thing on him? Yeah. Seen, I, I've seen some parts. I, of uh, it. I, you watched so, the whole thing, yeah, right? So, yeah. So, you know, at the beginning. They have that kid on there, his friend or whatever from high school. Yeah. And like that's when he walked in and uh he's like, What are you watching? I said, you know, the Aaron Hernandez thing and the guy the kid like was like talking kind of weird, you know? And I was like, dude, there's something about this kid. And then like all of a sudden, like we were both me and Anthony were both kind of looking at each other like what 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 is? and then he's like, Yeah, we you know, we would hook up regularly in high school. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That's there was a lot of gay stuff going on <laughs> yeah. with old Aaron. And the thing is, is I wouldn't have believed the kid <laughs> But what made it a lot more believable was his dad was there. Like, who would say that shit in front of their dad? Right? Yeah, you know. Right. Yeah, you're gonna, you're already. Yeah, you're coming out, and you're just like, it hey, just, I'm gonna tell it the just world sucks that because uh, he's dead and he can't like say anything. Right. True. It's only one side. But didn't he? Didn't he write a? Uh, didn't he write like a suicide note and he said that he was gay or something in that? I there was a thing. My patch like, to in. like his like boy like his prison boyfriend or some yeah. shit. But I don't yeah. know about it, dude. Like I said, this is one side of shit. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's like the trend right now. Like after someone dies, it'd be like, you know, oh, here's a story about, I mean, the Michael Jackson thing 
look, we all know he's fucking weird, but it didn't. We don't have to twenty years later be like, oh, we f- we scooped up some more kids that have a story to tell. Right. You know, yeah, it's right. like all right, we're, he can't defend himself at all. Yeah, it's like okay, cool. You know, R. Kelly, okay, he can go out and fucking still talk. Right. Go after him yeah, all you want. Yeah, I don't yeah. care. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that R. Kelly thing was fucked up too, man. Did you watch that? No, I didn't watch that. Was, I like, didn't have the stomach. I mean, like the the girls, like. I mean, they aged anywhere from, like, 13 to 17. Really? And, like, Didn't he have him, like, brainwashed and shit? Dude, he had, like, a whole, like, like a, uh, it sounded like a big apartment building with, like, different rooms and shit. Yeah. Or, like, a house, you know, a mansion or whatever. But, like, he had so many girls in there, like, and they weren't allowed to talk to each other, and they would be, like, quarantined to one room. Really? And then, like, he had one chick, uh, she was on there, and she goes, yeah, you know, I, uh, I like sports. So he, you know, and she's like, I grew up a tomboy, so he had me, uh, like, shave my head and, like, dress like a dude. Is that what he's into? He just, it, like... It was, like, one of his things, dude. Like, mm-hmm. and then they had, like, different girls for different shit, but, like, she had to, like, act like a dude. There was... Nice. There, there was a video it's I'd like seen. like his dude chick. Yeah. Like, I think... I th- <laughs> it was like his dude chick. <laughs> And then she got in trouble because he was she was rooting against the Bulls one time because he's from Chicago. So like she yeah, wanted like you can't whatever, do that whatever her Kelly's. team was, and he's like, "Bitch, like you know, check yourself before you wreck yourself." Yeah, right, big right, dicks right. in your ass are bad for your health. Yeah, right. <laughs> Probably peed on it. Probably. Why wouldn't he? He that's what he's into. I just like the fact that well, I don't like the fact, but I I appreciate the fact <laughs> that he like when he got caught with the video, like. It's not a thing of like, well, I didn't know she was like whatever, 14 or whatever. Like he's making her say like, yeah, fucking give me that 14-year-old pussy or yeah. whatever. He says it like 15 times yeah, in the video. Like, like Chappelle has a joke about it. Like, dude, like yeah. you're, you're turning yourself in right now. Yeah. Like He's like, I would have been like, yeah, this is the best 30-year-old pussy I ever yeah. had. Please recite yeah. your social security number wow. so we can make sure it's you. Wow. <laughs> like, fuck, man. Yeah. Like how dumb can someone be? Uh, fucking yeah, he's fucked. He's fucked, man. Because like a lot of them said he can't read too. Like they would read oh, to him bet. and shit. And, I like, believe it, man. He's a fuck. He's fucked. Yeah, he's. And he, I think he's in jail for a while, right? I, I don't know what happened to him. I, I've, you know, all of a sudden, this coronavirus has overtaken. I don't hear anything about Harvey Weinstein or fucking Kevin. Sp- well, Kevin Spacey got <laughs> fucking his accusers uh, all suicided. So. <laughs> You know, I guess he's free oh, now. Shit, I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah, his accuser, or well, I don't know if there was more than one, well, I but know, they committed suicide. I know when that stuff came out, he was like, all of a sudden, he was just like, oh, well, I'm gay. And yeah. like, that was his, like, coming out, and all, like, everyone's like, oh, okay, like, <laughs> it's okay now, <laughs> yeah, because you're yeah, gay. Yeah, I just, like, the, the only one that, I, that sits weird with me is the Louis C.K. one, where, like, he, if you don't remember, like, he got, I guess back in the day, he would just jerk off in front of girls. But, like, the story is is that he would ask. He'd be like, hey, do you mind if I jerk off in front of you? And they would laugh and be like, yeah, go ahead. And he would just fucking jerk off on himself that and walk away. That sounds like consent to me. It does. So I don't really understand what the big story is there. Like, it's not like he was like, hey, check this out. Bah! And he just right, right, like, right. It's threw, a bitch. A, threw a batch in her face or something. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'll tell you what. I'm almost pissed off about this corona is like there's no sports right now man yeah i'm yeah. real bummed about that's it. uh that's what we yeah we covered that on friday as far as like that's like the weirdest thing that's uh, like, like that's, i love the tournament and i'm like super bummed about yeah, it. yeah and that's that's one thing that like that's the only reason i'm kind of like wondering what we're really dealing with is because they never cancel sports like this so like you know even though i think people are way overreacting but yeah, it's just it's just they don't want large groups of people. Like, what are we together. gonna look back at and not have like champions from this year? Right, like in the NBA and the NHL. I'm I'm assuming that the NBA and NHL are gonna um, resume, but they're gonna go straight to playoffs. Like, they won't finish out the regular season, and they'll just take the standings as. I it can is. see that. I have a feeling by like mid-April, all of this is gonna go back to normal. Yeah, because even uh, baseball is what postponed it is. like for two, two weeks. weeks yeah, so. Two weeks. Yeah, that's a lot of concerts I'm seeing are postponing all their shows and so on. And it's just like, I get it. Everybody take a couple weeks off. I was I was saying yesterday, it's like this is a time to just really get your shit together. Just be like, okay, I'm not going to leave the house and uh, I'll get my responsibilities in order and uh, get my, you know, get my, get my investments together, right, throw some money right. in the stock market and, you know, just take it, take a breather. And then you can go back into the, you know, living in the red 
right. afterwards. Yeah, and I'm, I'm super curious about Tuesday on St. Patrick's Day, like what the crowds are going to be like. Well, they the uh, canceled like. the parade. Right. Yeah. So. The parade was supposed to be today. Oh, was it? Yeah. But the, the uh, before, I, I think the bars still plan on being open. Right, so. right. But as far as like, you know, how many people are actually right. going to go. Because right. like uh, yesterday I was telling you, uh, you know, I don't know how clearly I told you because I had an edible and <laughs> was watching Shark to Puss. <laughs> he, e- he was eating butter. I was, yeah. yeah, I was. Uh, <laughs> and I was watching Shark to Puss versus Whale Wolf. So. Yeah. Who won? Uh, Shark to Puss. Well, they both died, but sh- they, uh, you know, spoiler alert. Where? What is it? It's a whale. Shark to Puss versus Whale wolf holy shit yeah whale wolf whale wolf can we watch that <laughs> it's fucking awesome <laughs> and so uh they teased at the end a shark to puss like sequel but i think shark to puss like has a lot of movies i've you know it's a series yeah, yeah. he's like a legend yeah, yeah it's like so, the marvel series it just builds up but anyway mm-hmm. i was gonna say i told him last night and i'm not you know like i said i'm not sure how clear i was but um the number one thing trending on twitter was red robin so I'm like, you know, what the hell happened at a Red Robin? Right. So I go on there. It's not that good. And, <laughs> and um, they get bottomless fries though. One yeah. one politician, up on I forget who Wipe it was, with them. but she goes, <laughs> she, she goes, this this disease is or this virus is spreading due to 30 year olds going still going to the bar and packed restaurants and all this shit. So this chick went on there. And she's actually like running for like board of education or something in New Mexico or somewhere in the Southwest. She goes, "I'm 30 years old and I just uh, enjoyed my delicious Red Robin dinner and sat there uh, longer than I was supposed to because people wanted me to be quarantined and all this shit." Yeah. So like people were like attacking her on Twitter, like find out what you know board she's running for. Let's communicate with them and get her off I here and all this it, shit. Man. I'm like, dude, like yeah. because I was like, so I tweeted back. I know I probably didn't get many responses, but I was like, man, Red Robin sounds delicious right now. I would stay there forever for their bottomless fries. Yeah. You know? Right. Just sport up on that. Like, dry out the fries because they'll probably last forever and use that as uh, toilet paper and paper towels. Yeah. Just ask for a bunch of napkins. Yeah, yeah. there's that too. Or I mean, everywhere pretty you, soft. Every, yeah, yep. everywhere you go, just, you know, take like, as you know, individual slice pieces of toilet paper and just stick it in your pocket. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Up. Just hoard it up. Like, I don't get it, man. Like I'm wandering like, the wasteland. It doesn't even make you like shit all the time. Right? No, that's the crazy thing. This is a respiratory right. fucking right. virus, not a shit disease. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like people love toilet paper. And they can't get enough of it, <laughs> and that's what it is. It's coming. Toilet paper's coming back in a big, big way. Yeah. It's like the hot thing. Right so, now. Uh, so speaking of the concussion that I got earlier, yeah, um, man, are yeah. you are you okay? Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I think I'm gonna survive. <laughs> but uh, you got one in the Dominican. Oh yeah. Do you want to touch on that at all? Oh uh, well, I don't remember most of it. But. Wait, what? <laughs> What's this? that shit was so funny. Dude. I, uh, well, man, we were drinking since morning. Right. Yeah, and it was probably our fourth day. I, there. I honestly don't remember. Like, we came back to the, we were gonna go out to dinner at one of these places on the resort or whatever, and I came back to the room. I think I took a bath. You, or you a took shower a shower or something? Because yeah, we, I don't know. We were You're just getting out of the shower. I know that. Yeah, and I just slipped on slipped oh, on shit. the tile like hard as fuck, dude. <laughs> slipped on this tile and I smoked my head on like the uh, tub. It was like a ninety degree fucking angle on this tub dude and like i was fucked up from that dude dude you like you take over i don't you, know you, you, i don't know at this doesn't. point but like i no. just remember that but dude so he comes you know you're at these places at the resort like for at least dinner you're supposed yeah. to dress up a little bit you know like wear like a polo and like some you know plaited shorts or some shit you know right Anyway, so we're sitting there, you know, we're waiting for Moose and uh, and Kowalski to come come by because they were rooming together or whatever. And Moose shows up in like jean shorts, which probably would be normal, but with a fucking uh, a Rodman throwback jersey, no, like from the Pistons. Pistons. <laughs> so we're like, dude, like he's never gonna be able to get in this rush. And I had braids in my head. Yeah, yeah. So they, he comes to the front, and they're like, "Sir, we can't let you in." And he's like irate. He's like, "What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me?" And all this shit. We hadn't known what happened yet. <laughs> uh, so we're I don't like, remember we're like, "What the fuck, dude? He's going crazy." So someone had to take him. Well, I think no, he you you, you had to have told us already that you fell, or Kowalski told us. But uh, you said you were like, yeah, man, I did the splits and my nutsack hit the hit the tile. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what happened then, because so, that, that's raw. So, and raw. you just you just kept going like, 
<laughs> like it tapped it. Like it tapped the fucking tile. <laughs> and so you come up with that, and uh, someone took you back to get changed. I don't know who, but it was a good friend. You had to be escorted. Was, I guess. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> so, um, you know, we go to dinner. We're like sitting there. We're like, well, we should order Moose something because he should be back. You know. So like we order him dinner. And we order them, like, you know, you get, like, a couple different entrees, a starter, and, like, a you know, whatever you wanted to drink or whatever. Mm-hmm. So we got them, like, a steak, because there was only, like, three choices. And then we got him like, some tomato soup or something for a starter. Mm-hmm. So finally he comes back, and, like, he calmed down a little bit. I don't know who took him to calm him down. But he comes back and sits Jesus, down. Man. Jesus took you. Make me sound like a monster. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant Je- you found uh, Jesus that day. Maybe he, he maybe brought you back. But you had a uh, vision while you're I laying did a nut tap while you're laying naked on the bathroom floor. Yeah, all of a sudden Jesus comes back. with CT. He's like, he, it's like wear this Rodman jersey. Go to the, go to dinner. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're, thanks, Jesus. <laughs> thanks, Jesus. <laughs> we're like, we're, you got it. <laughs> we're like, we're, you know, he, Moose sits down. We're like, hey, Moose, we got you. This steak and some tomato soup, you know, for dinner. No, 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 no. I remember it. It was, uh, we were at like the steak restaurant, like the steakhouse. Yeah. And uh, you guys got me ribs. Oh, we did? And I, yeah. Okay, and, because you were pissed about the tomato soup. That's where I was yeah, getting yeah. I was pissed about everything. Yeah. So you're like, you're <laughs> like, dude. I don't know, dude. When you just smoke your head and when you're wasting, I don't know. I understand, man. I just did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you did. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Moose goes, you know, he's like, what the fuck? Why the fuck would you get me tomato soup and all this <laughs> shit? Like, he was so soup, mad about yeah. this tomato soup, Why right? Why would you get me tomato yeah. soup? He was right. so mad like, about Like, who this does that? Like, if, I, if <laughs> yeah. I'm in a restaurant and I hear that, like, really, I'm it's like, what's nice. going on? It's nice that they ordered me anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Like okay, so Fuck he this tomato yeah he soup. he's right. he's going like, what off an ungrateful motherfucker to a point where like the whole restaurant is kind of just looking at our table because like Moose is like fucking yelling we're trying to calm him down like and uh sorry he's about yelling about this tomato soup. <laughs> And he's like, dude, fuck this, blah, blah, blah. Then he takes a spoon and fucking tries the tomato soup. He's like, this is good fucking com- tomato soup. <laughs> like, what the when fuck, you're dude? concussed, dude. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, at the end, well, after dinner, we, you know, we went out to the, the bar or whatever, the disco. And literally every five minutes, like, you would be like, hey, Moose, so what happened? And he'd tell you. And like five minutes later, he'd be like, hey, Moose, what happened? And he'd, he'd even tell you a little bit more. Like, it'd be like, you know, the first story would be like five minutes. The next story would be like six. He kept getting his memory yeah. back a little bit more and more. But like, it was just funny because like, he didn't, he had no idea that we asked him like five minutes ago. Like, so what? Yeah, it's that like, should man. have been concerning to you guys, probably. <laughs> he's like, he's like, no, nah, man, I did the splits and my nutsack tapped. And that was like the consistency. <laughs> yeah, the nuts did tap. <laughs> so, but uh, I think it was the same night that uh, me, you, and Jeff ended up being the last three. Uh, out, and we are, we are on, the, so we, yeah, we are on the dance floor, right? And I swear there was chicks out there, right? Okay. So we we're dancing with these girls. Well, like, we must have done something. And, like, all of a sudden, we all just looked up, and it was us three and three gay dudes on those. Nice. Or no, right. two gay dudes. The two, two gay, gay dudes. dudes. And they were, they were dancing together, but we were near they had them. Like, they had, like, glitter all over them and oh, shit. sweet. <laughs> so, I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? So, so <laughs> Living we, it up. We, we, ended up so. we ended up calling it a night, but the next day when we were at the pool bar, we saw them walk, walking with their hands, you know, holding hands. Uh-huh. The, and we're like, those are the guys that it's were It's like, hey, with. those are our friends. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Went down to the Dominican, made a couple of friends. Yep. Hey, man. <laughs> what happens there stays there. Man. Oh, another good story from there, too, is uh, we were playing this game on the beach, right? And it was two teams, and you line up. You know, it's almost like a gym class game okay. where, like, you, you get a number one through, say, ten. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 I remember this. So you each get a number, and, like, they put a towel in the, in the, in the middle, and you can't cross the other side. Until someone takes the towel, you you have to run, take the towel, and bring it back to your side. Oh, it's like like a relay race, sort of. But they call a number, and the other team that doesn't get the towel has to tag them. If they can okay. tag them, they get a point. If they bring it, if they don't get tagged, the other team gets a point. So, uh, you know, we we all got lined up with fucking like soccer. These little kids that play soccer, you know, like mm-hmm. fifteen to twenty year olds that just fast as fuck kids, and we couldn't do anything. Moose gets paired up. 
with this like 70 year old man sweet and, i don't even remember this dude what happened <laughs> and so moose gets called like they're running towards this towel mm-hmm. moose lets the guy pick up the towel and just fucking shoulders him dude like he just goes flying i'm like later grandpa and, and, and we're like well i guess we get the point and like the guy was like you guys gotta calm down well, he, he, hey. almost, he almost hit him like into the ocean. <laughs> hey, man, I needed that point for my team. <laughs> and, and David, remember David, the uh, oh, Dominican? Uh, black nuts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to you wanna tell him that? Oh, what is this? Man. Oh, dude. So this dude was like, I don't know. He was from like Haiti, I think. He said. Yeah, he, he was like Davy Cruz dark. Yeah, he was very dark and uh, dark skinned black dude. Mm-hmm. And he was like our boy. And he'd always come up to us. You know, he worked there or whatever, make sure we were tight or whatever. And he'd like he'd wear the shortest shorts. You know, that's just what they wear over there. He was a cool dude or whatever. Okay. He was like the recreational director. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. But he would like, we'd all be at the pool bar sitting there. And he'd like, he got down and sat down and crouched down, dude. And you could see his nuts, man. Oh, and nice. they were some dark nuts. <laughs> <laughs> like I just remember, like I think it was him and Sean just looked at like everyone else. They're like, "Did you just see David's nuts?" <laughs> like, no, sorry, like, I did you just that. see David's sack? Well, did the, I mean, was it one of those things where like the sack fell out of the the pant leg? I just think it or... was the way he was like positioned, man, like how he was crouching down. Okay, and the shorts didn't do him a favor. Like I, I'm just imagining, like the sack kind of like came out and then hung over. The pant it leg. It could have very well been hap- like happening. Like it was like teabagging out, like it was it, trying to escape. It could have been, but I I just think it was the way it was, you know, positioned. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, like. I'm trying to create a me- mental yeah, image. Yeah, I still got it. <laughs> I, I think the uh, the first day that we were there, mm-hmm. we didn't know that the pool bar closed and it closed at six. Mm-hmm. So they were like, last call. You know, and we're like, last call. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, last I've call? only been drinking 13 hours. What do you mean, right. last call? Right. <laughs> you know. So, it, you know, it's like 5.55. And I go up to the bar. I'm like, because I didn't know our plans. Like, we didn't have no plans for dinner or nothing. So I asked them for, I ordered 36 rum and cokes. Jesus. And they just looked at me. 36. And they're like. It's like, what? you heard me. Uh, they're like, what? And I was like, yeah, 36. And because there was, I think, 12 of us. Yeah. So that's like three drinks a person. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, it's doable. That makes sense. Now. And ended up like the girls didn't drink any of them. So like there was like six guys drinking like thirty six uh, rum and cokes before we went. To I dinner. remember on one of them trips. I don't know if it was that one or not, but like before you went out, there was like these like outside bars you could chill at, like pre drink. Yeah. That. Uh, and I ordered like um I think it was like ninety six like those kamikaze shots. <laughs> And then they're like ninety six, and I'm like, just, I'm like, just make it a hundred. <laughs> uh, yeah, but there was like, you know, like like you said, like twelve or you know, fourteen yeah. people. I mean, that's still ridiculous. Right. But like, now I take it this is an all inclusive thing. Yeah, so yeah. you're not yeah, having yes, to pay yeah. out like five right, dollars right. a shot. No, the most. Yeah. The, uh, I think it, it, you'd be correct. It could have been the. Good, it could have been one of the uh, the night that we got in the fight at the box or black market or whatever. But they used mm-hmm. to have dollar beers until like midnight or something. Okay. And um, I remember. Uh, when our group went out, uh, the most I did at the bar like that when it wasn't all inclusive, right? Like right before midnight, I ordered twenty beers, um, smart. and they just brought it over so we could good move. That's a way to do it. So, yeah. Um, but style. yeah, the yeah. the the hundred shots of kamikazes. That's uh, I thought my thirty six was <laughs> yeah. Well, th- well, those are drinks. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess you don't have to do much. You just have to pour them, right? Yeah. Well, they had to like make. Oh them. yeah, kamikaze. Now, yeah. I mean, was all hundred for you or was it for? No, no, no. Hundred? This was for like the whole table, like the whole group. Oh, you ordered and for the like table. we were, we were about to go out to like they call it like the disco or whatever, but it's like the club that's on, yeah. on the thing. Okay, on the resort. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so hundred shots, man. Hundred shots amongst how many people? Like probably like like twelve ish maybe twelve, but it's That's like still a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's still ridiculous. <laughs> but it, like a lot of their shots are watered down. Oh, is it? But okay. um, like the, I'm sure they all didn't even get taken. You know, like, right. who cares? You know. Yeah, it's true. At that point, they're just gonna give you like probably ten and be like, yeah, there's a hundred there. Yeah, you, know? you won't know the difference yeah, after right, fucking right, ten right. of these. Right. Yeah, those fucking mama wanna shots or whatever. That shit was fucking gross. Okay, well, still likes that shit, dude. I think I think we th- threw out his bottle. Like, cause oh, he left right? it here, yeah. He still makes it. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah, that oh. tree bark shit. Oh, I get that shit you. is gross. He dude. still likes it. It was sitting in a Carlo Rossi bottle, and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" There's a bunch of mold in it. Was is that part like, of the drink? 
Yeah, like <laughs> if you fun. let it just sit there, like yeah. without the shit, like the you know liquor and shit in it. Yeah, because mm-hmm. he would just get the bottle and then he would make it like once yeah. and then it would just sit for years. Yeah, you're supposed to like when you make like use it, then make it again. Yeah, like, yeah. So there's the same there's all oh. yeah there's always w- liquid in there, you mm-hmm. know, because once the liquid dries out, there's gonna be mold and all that shit. Gotcha, gotcha. So you gotta. Or you're supposed to drink it a, at least fast enough for it not to mold over. Yeah, well, it was it it's was pretty s- gross. It's like what was it like? It's like rum red, and wine. red wine or something. Yeah, and rum like and like honey. Yeah, and like sticks. Yeah, <laughs> it's gross. it did. There was like twigs in it. I was like, who yeah. who created this fucking yeah. science experiment? Someone in fucking some weird country. <laughs> <laughs> and he brought it back. But it was like shoved way in the back. We we did a clean of uh, our liquor cabinet. We were trying to you know consolidate what we had. And we found that and got some. I don't know where the gold schlager came from. And like, we got a. Well, we have uh, so much from that's Muth. From, yeah, that's that, liquid gold, man. Yeah, that's uh, that gold schlager's from you guys. Yeah, we uh, like that, man. Well, we got a brand new bottle just that's unopened. Fancy breakfast drink. And we got like 16 bottles of vermouth. We've been yeah, trying to what's give it away. Vermouth? Oh, he likes um, uh, Manhattan's a lot. Oh, okay. Is that Manhattan's? Yeah, I think so. I think you might be right on that might one. Because right. we had like six bottles and like most of them weren't opened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he drinks the fuck out of those. Okay, that explains it. Yeah, because we were just like, I don't know. What, every time we'd get invited to a party, we'd just bring like, it. And be like, yeah, yeah I got brought some vermouth for you. Like, what the <laughs> Go fuck wild. Can I do with this? <laughs> is that the one that's like whiskey, vermouth, and like an orange peel or something? Is that? It might be. Might be. Is that what that is? I don't know. Yeah, I just drink that. whiskey. That's just that's yeah, as extreme I'm, as I get. I'm a vodka guy, man. Vodka? Yeah, man. I, yeah, I'm not it, allowed to you're drink not whiskey. A, you're not allowed to drink SoCo anymore, man. That uh, was like that? your signature. I'm just not allowed to. I had to get a little rowdy on the dark liquor. Oh. See, I, I, dark liquor I'm good with. It's the... I used to be. It's, it's like the White Claws where things get awr- go awry. Really? Yeah, because you, you they sneak up on you. Really? Yeah. I was I was doing that for like a summer. I'll tell you this. <laughs> Having them sneak up on you. Yeah, all so was, long. <laughs> yeah. Like, damn, I can't figure it out. Every time I walk down the street, there's like there's six of them, and I'm like, God damn it, I can't get away from them. Right, They're like right. Feeny. Um, yeah. <laughs> but no, I I did. Uh, I bought like three Tall Boys because I can't drink beer. I'm 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 a keto kid, so I can't do the beer. So I was like, oh, I'll just buy like three of these Tall Boy White Claws, and I drank all three of them in a night. It was probably the worst hangover I've ever experienced. Yeah, I can see in that forever. being bad. It's awful. Like I can drink probably an, a, a pint of whiskey or tequila or whatever, and yeah, I'm gonna feel like shit. But it's it's manageable. That oh man, I wanted to puke. I was nauseous. I had yeah, chills. That sounds bad, dude. Don't do it. Stay away from it. Stay away. Yeah, I'll stick. I'll stick with the vodka and club soda or water. Yeah, yeah man. You Stay gotta have the to lime go. in it though. Yeah, that with the club it... soda, I get the lime. Uh, I but love with, the lime. With water, I'll just do like mio. Like the shit that you squirt in the water, oh, right. yeah. And I'll uh, do that water and uh, vodka, and that's not bad. Yeah, that's not. That's I not do like bad. three, three to four squirts of mio though to get some flavor it's in there. A lot of mio. Yeah, it's a lot of mio. Yeah, but dude, I love vodka, man. Yeah, man. It's the way to go. Tito's. Tito's is where. Tito's I, is the best. Is I got a lot of Tito's at the crib. Do you? Yep. What other ones do you like? Like I, Ciroc is good. I just, like the if you want to just take shots of vodka. Ciroc Green Apple, like legit, you can just take shots of that. Not a huge Green Apple fan. They probably got a bunch of kinds. Oh well, yeah, they have a bunch, but like Green Apple's the one I've like had specifically, and like it tastes like a Green Jolly Rancher. That new Amsterdam, it's like really cheap. The pink one. Um, I've I've had that actually. Yeah, that's Cable good too. That. Yeah, I think uh, he left some. We we went <laughs> we through that. <laughs> he left some. We went through it like he left a lot of week. shit when he left. Yeah. yeah. Did he? Well, I mean, yeah. Look, you're picking up. You're going across yeah. the country. You gotta, you right. gotta travel light. Right. Yeah, I get it. Right. Right. I would but do it, that. It also it took him till like last minute to pack his shit too. Well, yeah. I could see he that. was like packing until like four in the morning the day he like left. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> he was still up when I went to work. He's like, hey man. Yeah. I'm like, hey. Yeah. Well, he made it. Yep. He is. He's out there. I'm. I'm gonna have to see. We have to check in on him sometime. See oh, how he's, he's just doing out, out there. there, man. Yeah. Was... What's it like out there, out in uh, Seattle? Like anytime I hear about like the West Coast, like uh, what do they call it? The, the fucking like Oregon and, and Washington. The Puget Sound. What is yes. that? What it's called? There, I mean, it's out there. <laughs> I mean, it was tight, dude. I liked it out there. I mean, the weather was tight. It like you know, like everyone thinks it rains every day. It like mm-hmm. dr- it like drizzled, you know, but it was like fine. 
Okay. But they got the they got the legalized uh, weed out there, right? Very much. So you just it's just available at any corner store. You could just like go um, in. Um, no, they, it's not just like at corner stores. Is they still got like the dispensaries? Oh, okay. You got to hit up, but, but like you all you got to do, ID? all you knew, yeah, all you need to do is you know show your ID. I think it's, I don't even know. Is it twenty one? Yeah, it's twenty one. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, even tobacco is twenty one now. Yep. Yeah. So, so that's it. You just got to flash that ID and you're in. Mm. All right. But that uh, tobacco was also probably Shout a state out. law. Yeah, shout out to Have a Heart, Seattle. What is that? That's a dispensary, oh, okay. dude. <laughs> <laughs> it was tight. They're like, man, this guy was our best customer for two days. <laughs> like, and we're never gonna see him again. Yeah, uh, our buddy lives. K. Well, lives like a block from him, so I, I, I went in there a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. That's. I'm waiting for it to happen here in Michigan. Like, I, I know it's legalized they just, now. They just opened the first one in Detroit. Oh, did they? Yeah, off of Inkster, uh, the okay. day after uh, sports betting started. They just ah. opened one in Hazel Park. Did they? Really? And, uh, like, yeah, like 10 Mile and John R. So you just got to be 21, you walk in. I'm not sure yourself. if it's like a, a medicinal one or if it's like a hmm. like 21 and yeah. like recreational. Well, I know because the recreational is legal, but I don't know, like, the se- the selling of it. But, uh, I feel like they've been like dragging their feet with it. It's, yeah, like, it's it also uh, they're trying to uh, make it illegal in Clinton Township. Yeah, yeah, I've been getting the flyers on that. There's like uh-huh. someone trying to vote against it. I don't just get it over with. Who who is getting fucking concerned about weed? Like who's? It's not like meth. You're not cutting anyone's face off with it. You're not fucking. You know, uh, it's not super addictive, right. like bath salts. Right, right. You know, it's just it's, pods. It's, matter of time, man. But it's yeah, a matter of time. I feel, I feel but they like crank it up. They just yeah. crank no, no, the no, no, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> matter of time till it's like like it is in Seattle, dude. Yeah, it would be nice. Yeah, because it's like Seattle. I know Denver, Colorado. Like yeah, they said they uh, like Den- California. Denver's yeah, first ahead of the year. Game a little bit. Denver's first year. They said they got like two billion dollars for s- the school districts from just weed alone. Yeah, it's great. In one year, I can see from that. the taxes and shit. No, that makes sense. I mean, there's a lot of money in it, and it's it's why not? We got to fix the roads here. That's all we keep hearing about. It's right, like the fix, the, fix the damn roads. Yeah, yep. got to get those got to get those roads patched up so we're not driving on these uh, fucking, fucking up your tires and shit. Yeah. Oh man, it's it's every year. Every year I get a fucking leak in my tire because I hit some <laughs> weird ass pothole. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. I had uh, luckily I've had warranty on my rims um, up until a hundred thousand miles. I've had to replace those bitches four th- or twice. Two, two of them twice because they get cracked. I'm like, man, this shit is unreal. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't uh, I don't know why they're not doing anything with it. Yeah, but. last time I took uh, Woodward downtown, like, it's horrible, dude. Yeah. Like, you're getting, you're getting like, a you're flat. You're getting a flat, dude. <laughs> like, you might as well just drive into a hole. That's how I feel about Mound. Like, yeah, Mound mound's, is mound's pretty bad, terrible. Because yeah. there's all those fucking semis that come off the highway right there. Yep. And that's what they claim it is, but... Who fucking knows? Yeah, this is, I like I like that we're keeping it local for yeah. our listeners that are in the in the area. Very local. They're gonna, it's like a super local. Like hit up Wise Guys, sixteen and Harper, bro. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like shit. Shout out to Wise Guys, sixteen yes. and Harper. B- Big B- or AKA Big Beaver, AKA Metro Park. Right? I ain't been there still. I ain't been there yet still. Man. No, it's like it's like the inside is similar to like Boston's. Oh, it's like nice. I mean, it's like half restaurant, half bar. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, it's cut, like I got thing you. in the middle. But it doesn't have the vibe of the old wise guys. We should probably backtrack and explain. Like, the old wise guys, there was another wise guys. Wiser much, wise guys. Much wiser. Yeah. yeah. That was really cool. Oh, shit. Like, probably about, like, I don't know how many miles away it was. Probably maybe <laughs> 10 miles <laughs> west. It was better, but it was worse. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we had a lot of good memories there. That man. Was, was fucking sweet, and then it burnt to the ground, and then yep. we got this other one fucking out here, right by the house. Yeah, by our house, but it just it doesn't have the same vibe. You don't get the same people. You don't get to like run into you know. I've I'm trying. <laughs> I'm Groenvelt. Groenvelt. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a get name. That at this one. Yeah, you don't get no groaning on this. Yeah. So, but yeah, you, you don't even run into Fat Dave anymore. Right? Yeah, right, right, do you right. know Fat Dave? I don't think I know. Him. You, know, yeah. you okay? He lost some weight. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> good. Hey, there's a dude, shout out to Fat Dave. Yeah, yeah. there's a dude named <laughs> Fat Dave, right? And like, he doesn't know my name. Like, he doesn't. Like, he just goes by Fat Dave. 
But you know his. Yeah, because <laughs> Dave, regular Dave, he told me who he was because they bowl, right? He's like, that's Fat Dave. Yeah, he's like, that's, he's like, he's like, I'm not Fat Dave. That's, yeah. fat Dave. He, <laughs> that's the best move. If you if you're yeah. friends with someone that's got the same name as you, automatically label them the fat version. <laughs> then you're safe. So, um, so oh. Fat Dave. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, the first time I ever talked to him, like me and uh, me and Anthony are walking out of the wise guys at like maybe two in the morning, you know, and I'm like, hey, that, that's Fat Dave. And he, he's like, what's up, man? And uh, he's like, did you really have to call me Fat Dave? Can it be like Big Bone Dave? And we're like, no, it's Fat Dave. Yeah, you're Fat Dave forever. <laughs> and like, sounds he, all right. Like, it, it was almost like it seemed like it was almost like no one's ever called him that to his face. <laughs> Yeah, we, you know, like with his reaction, but he still responded. <laughs> like he's now he's gonna start hearing murmurs about, oh, it's Fat Dave. And he's like, oh, they're talking about me. I right. thought it was this other Dave, right? <laughs> this whole well, time. Well, last year, me and Anthony were talking about this uh, the other night because uh, we we're talking about our St. Patrick's Day plans or whatever, and we were trying to think of what we did last year. We ended up going to Wise Guys, and uh, we brought a deck of cards, and Nate came up there, and Trey, and. Uh, we were playing like card games, you know, like waterfall and all that shit. Yeah. Well, we were playing with the table next to us that we didn't know, mm. and uh, there was a dude that like I don't know if they called him at first or we did, but w- the whole time we were just calling him Handsome Rob. Yeah, because <laughs> he was <laughs> handsome. And, and, no, well, no. The, uh, now, I remember, handsome. now I remember. I remember because there was two Robs at the table, oh, okay. so there was Rob yeah. and Handsome Rob, and yeah. then the <laughs> other Rob like the, we we started calling him Not So Handsome Rob because yeah. I do remember that, and he's started getting pissed and he's like he's like can't you just call me rob we were like no you're not so handsome yeah. rob and handsome rob yeah there was that guy and then there was like good, the guy that looked like tom segura yeah so we just called oh. him Todd, tom segura i yeah. like tom segura he dude. is he looked just like him. i seen tom segura alive dude. did you yeah i like him <laughs> so this guy well, you would have loved like him because he looked I like so this guy sounds right up my alley <laughs> I took, took pictures of him and was sending it to everybody I knew on my phone. Like, look, it's Tom Zagura. Remember I took a picture on New Year's with Fat Roman Reigns? Oh, that's right. I forgot There's about that. Fat Roman Reigns, dude. <laughs> let, me, let, me, uh, yeah. let me pull up this dude, picture Dude, this dude looked just like Roman Reigns. But and... like fat and poor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fat Roman Reigns. <laughs> yeah, let me see that. Let me see that. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It looks, it's like a cross between. He's a cross between like a knockoff Roman Reigns and an USO. That's yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, um, yeah. It's basically a, a knockoff of yeah, fat Roman Reigns and USO. And uh, um, the dude was just chilling. I was like, hey man, has anyone ever told you, you look like Roman Reigns? And he's like, yeah, I get it all the time. And I'm like, <laughs> really? Because. <laughs> <laughs> that was I forgot about New Year's dude. New Year's was so was like I was so good for New Year's because it was an open bar you drink you pay the flat price and you can drink as much as you want right and I was just getting drink after drink but I was pacing I was at a good pace so I wasn't like getting shit faced blackout drunk or anything we come back to the house with uh, some friends of ours and um, we start doing games at the table and j- doing drinking games and I finish probably a half a fifth of Jim Beam, and I'm just out. I guess Nate was telling me I was falling asleep at the table yeah. when and, when but, they left. But the best part about that whole night was they uh, they sh- uh, shuttled us home. Yeah, that was great. I Within a five-mile radius, they shuttled us home. And, yeah. and the thing is, too, is I, I don't even remember the shuttle. Like, I was fucked up oh, at yeah, the, the place. Sh- yeah, the you were pacing yourself. Bad. Me, I was double-fisting the entire night. But I did do pretty well with the ladies that night. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, yeah. That's right. You got but, a number I, or two. Yeah. No, a couple numbers, couple makeouts. Mm-hmm. But uh, I also got red flagged by a chick. So. Yeah, red flag. Oh. Yeah, I got oh. red flagged by the chick. What was what was, what was red the red flagged by the chick? Uh, well, oh, so like, <clears throat> so, in in uh, you know, during the night they had like a photo booth, right? Yeah. And uh, I fucking hate photo booths. Photo booths are gay. You know, I'm just throwing that out there. We're not, you know, we're not PC around here. <laughs> they're, dude, photo booths are Emma and Julia, you know? Yeah. They're Emma right. and Julia. So. I like photo booths. <laughs> you're, yeah. But yeah. go on. Yeah, so, you're no, I think you're known around here as like the photo booth kid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what they call me? Yeah. yeah the Moose, photo booth AKA kid. the photo booth, the photo booth kid. kid. I like that. I'm going to use that instead of Moose. Yeah. Right. Dude. 
Go for it. <laughs> um, so my buddy, uh, PBK. my buddy, like, <laughs> so New Year's to catch you up a little bit. We went to like an all, it was kind of an all inclusive thing. You you pay like you know fifty bucks or whatever, all you can drink. Like they sh- yeah, they shuttled you home within five miles. So, um, but to get shots, you had to actually pay for shots because I think legally they can't give you shots in a, an event like that. Yeah, so yeah there was some loophole. Yeah, something. so they set up a separate bar like in the lobby uh, that you could do shots. So. One of my buddies was like, hey, you know, let's go do a shot. And I'm like, all right. You know, so we go do a shot. And he's like, well, let's go in the photo booth. And I'm like, again, photo booths are so Emma and Julia. Like, I don't I don't do photo booths. Right. Mm-hmm. So he's like, come on. Let's just go in the photo booth. So we go in the photo booth, take a couple pictures, whatever, being stupid. We come out and there's a family of a mom, her like an aunt, the girl and her sister. Right. Okay. So they all go into the photo booth, and I'm walking in behind them. I'm behind the aunt. So they start taking their pictures, and they don't know I'm behind them. So they, we take three pictures. They don't know I'm in the booth with them. So the the pictures get no the <laughs> pictures the pictures get printed out, and they're like, "Who the hell are you?" <laughs> and I was like, "Hey, oh, part of the thing." Yeah, I was like, "Hey, I'm you know Bobby Caboose, you know." <laughs> so um, I tell them, and uh, you know, I tell them a little bit about myself or whatever, and. I think my buddy, because this is when it's really fuzzy because I'm blacking out right now, mm-hmm. but uh, my buddy told them that uh, I have a girlfriend, okay. which I don't, you know, I'm single at the time, single now, you know, whatever. So um, she was asking me, she goes, uh, do you have a girlfriend? I go, no, uh, you know, I broke up with her back in October or whatever, and she didn't believe me. So like, I was like, whatever. And somehow we got in an argument out in the, in the lobby. So pretty much I was thinking, I didn't say this. This is just a random chick? Yeah. So I don't remember saying anything, you know, bad to her, but I was like, I know we got in an argument, and in my head I was like, you know, fuck this bitch, you know, I'm out, you know. So I go back into the into the um, party, mm-hmm. and I'm in line for a drink to get, you know, I was double fisting, so I get in line. And the girl right. comes in and apologizes to me, which I thought it was weird, oh, because obviously, was like, interesting. obviously, you know, I was right, like normal. Right, she just right, had to fucking right. listen, right? So <laughs> bitches don't listen. Bitches don't listen, and they, uh, you know, last week we realized that they get half of everything. You know, we yeah. were talking about that for a while. Yeah. Um. But, um. So anyway, she comes in, apologizes, and we start talking some more. And I end up getting her number, and uh, she, she text, she texted me. I texted her a couple times that night. You know, I left and um. You know, I try to hit her up the next day, and I'm like, "Hey, uh, do you want? Would you like to go get a drink or something?" No response, right? Okay. So I'm like, "All right, that's whatever." You know, maybe she's busy. So the next day, I was like, "All right, I'll try this one more time." You know, text her again, doesn't answer. So Sunday, I bowl, fucking go into Imperial, and she's fucking there. She walks in, oh. and I, she's I see her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's got that Feeny. Yeah, she's got she's the Feeny. She turned that Feeny feature. She, she turned she, Feeny. She flew in as an owl. <laughs> yeah, she like turned Feeny I and mean. morphed into Feeny yeah. or morphed okay, into a chick. So, I would imagine. <laughs> so, yeah, so Feeny waiting in. Imperial. So my Feeny <laughs> was there, and uh, she goes, "Oh my god!" And she was with her mom, and I'm like, "Yeah, fucking small world, you know." And I, I just said, you know, I'm like, I'm sorry if I said anything because I was kind of drunk or intoxicated that night. And uh, so I texted her after just, you know, saying, like, I meant to ask you, like, uh, oh, she said we knew two people in common, right, okay. while we were talking. And um, so I texted her, I go, I forgot to mention, like, who do we know in common? Because I don't remember any other conversation mm-hmm. that we had. She says these two names that I've never heard of, like Lauren and Phil. And oh, I know like, Phil. Who the fuck is Lauren, yeah, and, Phil? Lauren and Phil? I'm yeah. like, I'm pretty sure we yeah, right. don't know these. I don't know these people. And she goes, oh, okay. And I go, is there a reason why you didn't answer me? And she's like, well, me and my aunt thought you were red flagged because uh, because my friend said I had a girlfriend and because I said, I, apparently I said I didn't have social media, but I just probably meant I don't like social media. So then I was like, yeah, you can look me up on Facebook. But yeah, yeah I got red flagged, man. I mean, that was a, kind of a long story for not of a good payout, but, <laughs> you know. Hey, he's red hey, flag. you know, it was a long story, but it's quite well told. Thank you. I appreciate it. So he's like, fuck <laughs> your aunt. Yeah. What does she know? Don't right. be listening to her. Yeah. This is why you're still single. Right. And then you just fucking this face This is why palm. your aunt lives alone with three cats. Yeah. 
is she the one that is the expert in this? Probably not. She I needs mean, to walk away. Get that bitch out of here. <laughs> you should have, you should have just started screaming at her aunt. Just. <laughs> but no, she. Uh, I remember one of the texts because I deleted her number. But uh, one of the texts that that night that I texted her, you know, I said sorry. You know, the shuttle came. I had to leave, and she used like. She says something about like, uh, oh, it's okay. It was nice to meet you. And I I responded. I looked at the text the next day. I responded with, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. That's the best I, move. I like it. I like it. I like it. Like, I, so like when she wasn't texting me back the whole time, I thought like, oh, you know, I fucked it up because I said you're welcome. Or, you know, I said something <laughs> stupid. No, it's funny, dude. No, it's, uh, that was a good night, though. Yeah, New Year's was, was pretty What'd you do that this New Year's? I worked, I think. Uh, oh, did, did you? you? Yeah. Any, anything special happened that night? Nah, just loud, loud, loud bunch bullshit. Of drunks, bunch of drunks, man. No one falling off of. Uh, no one jumping. No, n- no one found in a bathroom or nothing. No, like that. no nothing crazy. <laughs> it just, just a wild night. Yeah. All right. Did you have to do? You could do like the uh, the whole like midnight shift for that. Uh, yep. I'm on like a what is it? Like a nine to five, but reversed. Oh, 9 p.m. Okay. Yeah. I gotcha. Well, I mean, you could. Ju- the freaks be, come out at night. Man. The freaks come out bad. at night. That's a true statement. <laughs> like, that would, that wouldn't be probably be too bad if you had the next day off, like New Year's Day. You just go out at like 5 a.m. Yeah. Because then <laughs> now you're going to start partying with the real hardcore right. parties. Just walk in sober and like take anyone. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> be sweet. I mean, you got uh, you got to see. It. Didn't you see like a trash can go through a windshield? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I've seen, man. <laughs> There's so many things, dude. There's so many things, dude. <laughs> Huge problems with like the homeless down there, man. Nothing surprises me. Right, well, right. I remember when I worked down there, like I, I had to park by Greek Town and in in the parking garage there, and I'd walk out in the winter time. It'd be ice cold, and they would sleep on top of the of the sewer covers because the steam yeah. would come up, yep. and I'd literally be having to walk over them, like five of them, and you're just like walking over them like speed bumps to get to work, and it's like this is great. <laughs> this is a, this is a great way to start my morning. Hey man, that's where I like them though, because that means they're not <laughs> they're not fucking yeah, they're yeah. not fucking with you. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I like them sleeping. But then in like the summertime, I'm wa- I remember I because I'd work late and it'd be uh, like eight o'clock at night sometimes, and I'd be walking back to the car and I get like some some guys trying to sell me. I remember one guy tried to sell me a bag of socks. <laughs> He's like, I got these socks, man. I got like, ten what? bucks, <laughs> and I'm like, hey man, you can you you want to get some of that? What do you need? I got all sizes. <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't need. Guy? I don't need any fucking socks. Yeah. Like, that's that's a weird commodity to start selling. Like, I get the kids and the candy, but like, weren't you uh, the guy with the socks? Didn't yeah. you didn't you eat a a pizza with a homeless dude in Canada? That is a true story. Uh, <laughs> his name was James, dude. Yeah, man. Uh, I I don't remember when were we there. We, I think I mean this had to have been it was before we were twenty one, long time ago, man. Yeah, but anyways, like I lost my wallet there, mm-hmm. and uh, I I came back the next day for it, and uh, like the club didn't open till like nighttime, you know, like mm-hmm. eight, nine o'clock or eight <laughs> o'clock at night, and I was there like in the middle of the day. So yeah, man, I just hung out there and made friends with a bum and uh, <laughs> ordered a pizza and we ate it, man. I mean, all right, that's a good uh, bonding. So how did you? Yeah, man, yeah. how did you get over there? Did you bring your passport or something? As far as the border, uh, I, I, yeah, I did something like that. I can't remember. Oh, so you had to, you came it came back from the United States to the club to get your wallet. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Right. So he had made it home and then had to go back the next day, but uh, without a wallet or a license or anything. Like, yeah, I mean, a passport would probably yeah, you'd probably be able. to I don't know how he got in. back in. They probably didn't even check, dude. You were well, probably is, dude, you were probably just in the car. I'm like a stowaway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like this, like undocumented <laughs> fucking person. Or you, dude, you probably were like in the trunk or some shit. Yeah. You know, like yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't sure remember. They don't see you. I don't remember, man. I remember going back out. and being pissed, like waiting all day. <laughs> there was a uh, there was this homeless guy. I remember I would go out drinking on the weekends when I worked downtown, and we were sit, uh, especially in the summertime, we'd sit outside and these like. Um, like what are they, fucking sidewalk bars or whatever, and there was this homeless guy, Papa Smurf, is his name. Oh man, you know Papa Smurf? I don't know. Him. Oh okay. <laughs> I just I only I only knew the Eat 'em Up Tigers guy. 
I don't know who that guy yeah, is. He died a couple years ago. Yeah, it, was got, on, it was on the news. He got ran over. Yeah, he oh, did. Shit. It's a way to go. With the dude with the like matted dreads in the wheelchair. Yeah. Both of them went? Yeah, at the same time. They got, both got hit by the same car? Yeah, and just drove off. <laughs> what the fuck? Who's doing that? I don't know, man. I think it was on Gresh, man. Oh, fuck. Well, P- Papa Smurf, he came around. He had a good hustle because he had like, he would he would hang outside of St. Andrews. And like take pictures with like fucking like performers and shit. He's, he he had a cell phone. Okay. I don't know where he got it, but yeah, he had a man. cell phone. Most of them do. And, and somehow he had a charger. Yeah. Now that well, that's impressive. well, that's how he was hanging out at the bar because he needed to charge his his phone. So he's like showing pictures of uh, he had like pictures of the White Stripes and shit like that, and some other band. He was like, yeah, I fixed their guitar. And I'm like, I doubt that, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and. I run my own shop yeah. outside. Yeah. Like, okay. Smurf. Is yeah. it Papa Smurf? It's right behind that dumpster. <laughs> they just bring it to me and I just fix it. But um, no, he, he, so so then he gets in close and uh, he's like, listen, I got these beads. <laughs> Sell you, I got these beads. These are really good beads. And at this point, I wanted You're him like, just to go away. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm like, yeah, what about him? And he's like, dude, you buy these beads. And it's gonna bring you really good fortune. Trust me. Right. Like I, I sold him to fucking Eddie Vedder or whoever, whatever fucking <laughs> rock name he mentioned. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, all right, cool. It's like so. It's like twenty bucks for the whole bag. And I'm like, you know what? It's a bargain, if, dude. For you to get away from me right <laughs> yeah. now. Here you go. So, so you got the beads. I, dude. I had the beads. I had them for like probably a couple years. I threw them out a, little, a few years ago. I'm like, like, where did these come from? They're just fucking. It's like you went to, to to fucking Joanne Fabrics and bought like some craft beads. You just put them in a ziploc and was like, dude, these beads. You got you, these beads. You, dude, you hold you, these beads. You should have asked him if he took credit. Just be like, I man, I only, I only my debit card. Let me PayPal you. Dude. You got that phone. We can hook that up. <laughs> at Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf yeah. at, at gmail.com. Well, he was he, he was good, though, because I was with a girl, and he was he was kind of like making her uncomfortable, <laughs> right. as most homeless people do. So he forced her into your arms? <laughs> Pretty much. I was, a, I was a hero at that. Well, then Man. she got yelled at me. She's like, why did you give him $20? I was like, I just wanted him to go away. Is this the chick that thought I was racist? No, this is a different one. Right. Um, this, is, <laughs> this is a different one. But... Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so and because he was also trying to sell it, be like, listen, this is for the both of you. You could split it amongst you. You could have a good, good future. <laughs> <laughs> what a deal is what well, I say. I mean, he was quite the salesman. Yeah, he right, got me. Right. He got me good. And uh, later, later that ended up being. Uh, I I think I ended up texting her about six months later, um, when I was pissed drunk, telling her how much of a piece of shit she was. So that was you know ended very well. Oh. Glad I bought those beads. It's like, Take your fucking beads. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This wasn't. It Maybe. wasn't very good fortune then. No, it wasn't. Papa Smurf was a fucking you, liar. You should have buried him. You should have buried him like a here. like beans, dude. I should have sent something grew from. What him. if I grew like another Papa Smurf? That's <laughs> like that guy. <laughs> he just multiplies. We'd have a whole other problem on our hands between him and Feeny. Just fucking right. <laughs> repopulate the earth. Man, Feeny Feeny keeps popping up. That's what he does. He follows you. He follows that's you around. He, that's what he does. That's the name of the episode. This episode's going to be... Feeny pops up. Yeah. Feeny pops up. Feeny, Feeny. Feeny, Feeny, Feeny. <laughs> feeny, Feeny, Feeny. But yeah, it's Bob, Papa Smurf. I, he's probably dead. There's a couple other homeless... You know what I couldn't stand? You probably come across this a lot. And I get it. Look, you're out there. You're homeless. You got to have a hustle. This is what it is. That's just how you survive. I, I'm not going to I'm not gonna hate the player. I hate the game, right? Right. But sometimes I really hate the game. And I really hated it when I'd be like running late for work and I get someone to be like, hey, hey, man, man, I don't want any money from you. I don't want any money from you. And I'm like, OK, well, what? And they'd be like, but can you go with me to Subway and buy me a sandwich? And I'm like, no, it's fucking 850. I have to get to work. I don't have time to buy you a meal. See, what I don't get is why um, homeless people wouldn't just take all their time and effort and just walk down south. That would be a smart like where it's I've warm. I've been thinking about that as well. Like, yeah. why wouldn't, like, I mean, you got nothing else to do, like, right? Like, save up and get a bus ticket. Yeah. That, that too. Yeah. Or just, I would just start walking. Like, yeah. hitchhike. Yeah. Get some truck driver, some lonely truck driver. That's what I said. I, I sleep on, like, the beach every night. Right. Yeah. F- down in Florida? Right. Dude, like, you'd be set. Maybe underneath the uh, pier or something. Like, if there was a pier, like, fucking just sleep underneath there, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hell, go down and. <laughs> <laughs> like a troll underneath the fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. pier. <laughs> Charge There's a toll. Like people taking pictures of you and shit. 
<laughs> make make someone your name Taurus mo- attraction. Yeah. <laughs> moose the troll. Yeah. yeah, moose the troll. If anyone wants a crush, oh, you have to make him solve a riddle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're like, yeah, I got. What gets wetter as it dries? <laughs> and if they don't, they don't know it, dude. You can't cross. Yeah, what is it? It's a towel. What gets wetter? Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I've been thinking about my troll fucking riddle forever. <laughs> you never know when you're going to have to... Worst them. case scenario. Like, what's what's your fallback plan? Well, worst case, I'll cash out my 401k troll. and I'll just uh, become a troll. A bridge troll. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I, uh, spe- <laughs> speaking of bridge trolls. <laughs> speaking of bridge trolls. But I was thinking the other day, you know, I, I, I uh, in the car, dude, I have a lot of time with no radio, you know? Mm-hmm. So uh, I was thinking, what if you took, like, you know, say fifteen thousand out. Of, you know, if you have fifteen thousand saved up, right? Yeah. What if you cash that out and just went to the poorest country in the world? Like, I wonder how long you could live. Um, you'd probably be okay for like a little a bit. King. Probably. Right. I mean, people say that, but like, what? What? Like, realistically, wh- how long would you be able to live if you had it in cash? See, uh, the yeah. American yeah. dollar is worth more in like in actual cash because if you just do the currency exchange and you get fucked, right? Cause yeah. I, I, if you just have the cash. But yeah, if you had the cash, you'd probably be doing all right. You probably, I mean, I don't know about fifteen hundred, but maybe no, like fifteen. 15 no, it's up fifteen thousand. Oh, fifteen thousand. Yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, fifteen thousand. You could probably do you pretty well it. there. I, I'm tempted, man. You probably able to live. walk to Florida to become a bridge troll. <laughs> yeah, you what probably uh, live middle class. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what country is that poor <laughs> that I could go there and live. Who's got the, the poorest there. country? I don't know, Guam. Guam. I don't know. Guam. Is it for there? I don't know. I don't Ethiopia. Know. Ethiopia. Yeah, but there's like literally nothing there. I would think something in Africa. You like can't get any food and shit. Right. Well, if you if you have money, you get it's food, true. you know. But it's gonna be like gross shit. It could be fruits. <laughs> <laughs> you could hunker down with the Mormons down in like Central America. Oh yeah, they yeah. got these Mormon. Co- you heard about that, right? They got the uh, Mormon colonies. Yeah, so so Mormons, they right, they do the polygamy. They, yeah, mo- they, they have, have multiple wives. wives. Yeah, so it's illegal in the United States. So they go down to like Mexico and these South American countries, and they set up shop down there. A lot of them in Mexico, and they just create their little towns. You know, cartels don't really mess with them. They have like their own little uh, uh, armory of like weapons, machine guns, and shit. So right. yeah, if you had like say fifteen grand and you wanted to leave the country, you could probably like hook up with a Mormon. Plus, as a guy in the Mormon thing, you get like sixteen wives. Right, you'd be set. You might be onto something, dude. Or you just become That's like the move. Islam and kill yourself and get like seventy-two virgins. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't trust it. I like I the know. Mormon thing better. Yeah, I like <laughs> to see the stock. I don't like. I like to be able to see it. Yeah, it's like it's like yeah yeah you'll get your you'll get your pension, but maybe you won't if we go out of business. I don't. That's what I mean. Like, what if what if in the Muslim faith they faith they run out? A run out of virgins. Yeah, and they're like, oh man, I got in too late. I should have retired early. Yeah, like you, you have know? like one, and then like one nasty one. And you're like, shit. Yeah, I only got two. Hey and seventy two is what. And one's. Deepa? I think it's seventy two. Seventy two. Deep. <laughs> seventy two though, a, but none of deep. them. Are, none of them are gonna know what the hell they're doing. No, yeah, yeah. they're just virgins. It's like I don't really, I don't really so know if I want a virgin. Cool. Yeah, not really. Cool. You'd have to like teach them. Right. And you have to teach all seventy two of them. Right. And then they're all probably not. Turns all into that like bright. a job. Yeah, and they're probably not the brightest. They're not like. You know, mathematicians and shit. They, right. they need an orientation. Yeah. Right. You got to, like, teach them and wrangle them all together. It's like, is what is this, heaven or hell for me? <laughs> is it really worth it? Yeah. I don't think so. Well, what if they came pre-trained? If they came pre-trained, yeah, but, like, but then the, here's the thing. But are they virgins? If you're in heaven, if you're in heaven and they're pre-trained, they're just pre-trained for, like, missionary. <laughs> you're not going to be able to do anything really all that crazy. They're just... <laughs> So you think you, right, think you think heaven limits uh, sex positions? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like it's it's only face to face. That's all you can do, <laughs> and it has to be slow. It's like a pump every ten seconds. So you don't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> so heaven sex kind of sounds like, and it, it has to be like dick through the pan, like the hole in the pan. Yeah, yeah. You can't actually yeah. become nude. It yeah. has to just okay. be. You know, out of yeah. it's it's not for pleasure. It's for just like on Chappelle. Though. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say. So this <laughs> yeah. is basically white people's sex on Chappelle show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> brown sugar. <laughs> oh God, that's he's like he's like bitch. I found your lightsaber. 
Yeah, he's like <laughs> smelling it and shit. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Yeah, none of none of them are gonna be have any sort of knowledge. It's like, oh, I want. There's no oral sex. They're not gonna be doing that. I guess not even on your birthday. Probably not. There's no ATM. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, definitely yeah. none of that. That's you can't go. With, sodomy is a sin. You can't have that. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> it's it's dirty. I'd you know. still rather be a bridge troll. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Do I want seventy two virgins in heaven, or do I want to be a bridge troll? Easy decision. <laughs> Fucking bridge troll. No, Sign the me up. The decision was between the Mormons. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's easily the winner. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, bridge, the Mormons are a way to but go. Bridge yeah. troll. Bridge troll I mean, second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah then seventy two virgins. Yeah. Because bridge troll, <laughs> I mean, you can come up with some cool shit. Oh yeah, you're gonna have time. Yeah, you can fucking, dude. You know how many goats you'll come across? Uh, yeah. <laughs> dude, you, yeah, you could herd like a bunch of animals that you found on the way yeah. there. Well, especially no, well, if you walked. Well, you know the story, right, about the three little goats? No, I know that. You story. don't know it? I know that story. Yeah, so it's like it's basically there's like three goats. I don't know. It's like. There's isn't there like a mama goat and a fuck or maybe that's the three bears. But I know the story. Like I was into it big time as a kid. <laughs> yeah, I was a big fan. I really can't remember. You, were, you were into it big time. <laughs> Did you have like trading cards? And... I was into it, dude. Yeah, basically. But I don't re- really remember like the fucking details. Basically, there was a the troll. The troll wouldn't let the goats cross the bridge, yeah. so they had to like. <laughs> you were in a bad mood that day. <laughs> <laughs> so like. <laughs> all right so yeah i forget i forget what the moral lesson is because all those stories had like a lesson in it but i didn't like the baby goat solve the riddle or something <laughs> i don't remember oh anything. it's the billy goat's gruff that's what it was billy called goat's gruff. Billy goat's right. gruff. that sounds right yeah and then they 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 ended up tricking the troll somehow and they were able to get across the bridge which for me i'm like well, wait a minute why didn't the goat just go around because it's a bridge. Like, were they that determined? They're like, no, fuck this troll. We're going to get past here. We're going to show him. If you know anything about goats, they are very determined animals. <laughs> they are. <laughs> They're going to... F- they set their mind to something They're and they get it across accomplished. that bridge. Like, half of the people that work at Tesla... They're goats. Dude, last night at uh, at the bar during dinner, since there was no sports on, someone put like Animal Planet on. Nice. So I was watching like scorpions and, and like fucking foxes run around. Holy shit, dude. Wait, what was this? Is at the bar? Like, I don't like this world without sports, man. <laughs> Let me just drink some Jack Daniels and watch this kangaroo hop around. Sports <laughs> yeah, Center. Like, sports what? Center is now just center. <laughs> right? It's just like yeah, they, what are they talking about? I think they just put 30 for 30s on. Damn. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of them. There's at least 30, right? Yeah. Yeah. If not more. Yeah. 430. Yeah. So that's like 90. <laughs> that's only three of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> yeah. That's the, that's the Wuhan for you. That's the Wu Tang. Yeah, I was waiting. That's what they should do. They should do a, um, they should do like a, like a, a charity Wu-Tang. album. Like, yeah, the RZA should get together and be like, "Listen, I'm gonna put out a project and we'll donate it to the fucking Corona victims." And it's like Wuhan meets Wu Tang. Well, did you? Uh, That'd did be you, pretty dope. Did you watch? Okay. You didn't watch SmackDown on Friday. They didn't have a, a crowd, and they were in their performance center. It was really weird. But Triple H, dude, stole the show. He went on commentary with Michael Cole. And he was fucking hilarious. Like uh, he uh, he told Michael Cole that there was uh, some gray coming into his soul patch, so he uh, took a sharpie and started coloring <laughs> Michael Cole's face. No shit. That's what you got to do when there's no crowds. <laughs> it was really <laughs> weird. It's desperate. But yeah. uh, apparently, there's shots of like the wrestlers on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Um, when it went to commercial, they just stopped wrestling because there's nobody in the crowd. So yeah. they just stopped and just stood there Damn, and then waited dude. for the camera to come back on. Oh, that's so, like I, I, what that's I like. So fucking weird. What I liked is at first they would come out and it, as if they're still trying to hype up the crowd. Right. And I'm just like, like they the yeah, they're like, yeah, yeah, they're like, yeah, throwing their arms up and shit. It's like like hey, Cena came you, out, it's like, what are you, threw his shit in the crowd. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah. It's just like laying on the floor. <laughs> yeah. It's like, someone going to clean that up? <laughs> it's like when we wrestle on the trampoline. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly yeah. what it looked like, too, because it's so quiet. So you just see them doing, and and they had some weird camera angles. So I, I think you, I like, said hear them like talking to each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so so weird. it was like, dude, I feel like I'm in someone's backyard watching kids on a trampoline. Like uh, this is so 
freaky. Bailey went to cut a promo in the against uh, Alexa Bliss, and she uh, her microphone didn't work. So she went up to the commentator's desk and she like hit it and she goes, "Give me a microphone." So she starts talking and Triple H was like, "There's nobody here." She could have just yelled that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that's fucking weird, dude. Yeah, man, it, it's 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 a it's an exciting time. I I said this years ago, with when when Trump became president, I'm like, I'm so excited in four years because it's going to be the season finale of America is what's going to end up happening. Because everybody's all riled up, Season and finale. think about it: we are heading into a quite a finale in the next few months. Yeah, it's going to be so exciting. I really don't. I don't care how it turns out. I don't care. I'm what just. I just want to wanna see. Alive. I want to see what the next episode is going to going to bring us. Right. That's uh, yeah. That's going to be exciting, man. Well, it's a it's a wasteland of Corona out there, and. Uh, I don't know. It, it, no, I, no toilet paper. I think it's gonna blow over pretty soon. Right. Probably. So do I. Hopefully. Because I want sports back on. Dude. I just want toilet paper, dude. I just want, like we're trying to limit our shits around here. So yeah, we don't, it's no fun. You know, it's no fun. Well, we got about like eight eight giant rolls, so that's like about sixteen regular ones. So I think we'll be all right. You guys will be fine. Yeah. yeah. We're just trying to ration our shits. Yeah. We just like we 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 only let half the turd come out and then we yeah. cut it off. Like like Anthony hey. Anthony was allowed to shit yesterday. I'm allowed to shit today. I think that's smart. I yeah. hear guys this part. Yep. And if you have to go like outside your turn, you just go outside. But listen, I'm I'm not afraid. I told someone this y- the other day. I'm not afraid to go back that if I'm desperate enough and I can't get any toilet paper or paper towel, coffee filters. I've used a coffee filter in my day out of hey. desperation and hey. it works. You gotta be real ginger with it. But it works. Like super ginger. Like Honol ginger. Yes. Oh, jeez. That's a, another deeper cut. Deeper cut. Yeah. Deeper. Okay. That's, <laughs> that's a Yeah, it's that's a that's a joke for three. Yeah, that's that's a, yeah, that's that's a seventy two virgin. Yeah. Or a bridge troll. Yeah. Either or <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Well, oh, uh, oh no, we did the we did the legend of the yeah, week. Yeah, we did right? the legend of the week. I we forgot. Did, we did the sponsor. Yeah, we, I think it, we it's, hit it's, it. It's kind of off course today without the game because well, a be lot honest, of the filler too is uh, the game. Yeah, but so. to be honest, I, I think we did a pretty good job in light of that. Oh, next for next time, we'll, I'll get the the other sixty four yeah. all hooked up, and we'll we'll have something legitimate. But listen, we're these are not normal times. Normal things aren't going to be just happening all the time. We got to like improvise. We're in a crisis, a pandemic right now. Yeah. We are. Like, the 64 is down. We're just lucky yes. we have an extra 64 right. yes. on hand. Most people don't have that. No, they don't. You know, I'm glad I stocked up because that's going to be the next thing people are going to start grabbing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I need 64. 16 of these. <laughs> I, I need those 64 I'm like, bits. I'm you bastard. I just want one. <laughs> yeah. I need those 64 bits. <laughs> I can't get enough. But, uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think we did pretty good. I mean, shit. We've almost done two hours, so. Oh damn! I think well, we, uh, a lot. Uh, the beginning we had to cut out, right? Well, I, I'm we gonna I'm out. gonna skim through it. There might be some salvageable moments yeah, in there. There Might be some gold. Yeah, like when that when you got smacked in the head with yeah, that, that trophy. Yeah, that might be gold. <laughs> yeah. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> that might be the moment that puts us over the top. Yeah, I feel, I feel dude, like that was wild. I seen it all <laughs> happening. Dude. It, it happened. Slow mo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it really was, man. Well, I seen him wobbling. You hit your head on the shelf. I seen the trophy start to wobble. And then I was like, I didn't know what else to do other than just scream. That's all you could do. Yeah. <laughs> so I figured maybe if I did that, you'd get the hint. That shit hurt, man. I Actually, when it first fell, I thought I got hit by the plaque, but it was the trophy. <laughs> yeah. That fell, too. I know, but it, it's not what smacked me in the head. Now, are those your trophies? Yeah, man. Okay, those this are yours. This is my hardware room. So I'm trying to figure <laughs> out. <laughs> Very impressive. <laughs> Thanks. Who's, okay, I, I do have to ask this, though. Like, th- right. those that box of frosted flakes from like 95 the gordy how yeah, honey nut those are Rick's. toasted oats that's Rick's. but why why save they're, this cereal? they're limited edition oh is it yeah okay. like they came out with let's eat them <laughs> yeah okay. they came out like i have some in my room too i think one is autographed oh really um the same one not the same one not the same box it's like red so, wings though yeah and so, then i have like a <laughs> fastball flakes with Gay ass Verlander on there. Oh, you're right. Yeah, nice. limited edition. How much you want for box. that? 
sealed. I want to see what the year is. Like, what's the expiration date technically on these things? What is this up here? Just is it that? Oh, yeah, you might be right. It is, be- yeah, best if used by November 28th, 2001. All right. So, so we, this expired almost so 20 years ago. We have a few months left. Let's get some bowls out. Yeah. We have a few months left. Well, and and there's like <laughs> it's like the third stadium that, since they played it. <laughs> oh yeah, this is it's this like Olympia, Olympia stadium. <laughs> <laughs> it's like best used by the time the stadium gets demolished. <laughs> if you notice here though, there's like something is like staining some some is staining the corner of the box that's going on in this yeah, frosted flakes. Maybe there's bag. like maybe there's like preserved milk in there. Maybe it's, it's it is kind of like like overfilled. It's bulging in certain areas too. You can kind of <laughs> feel it. Like there's something growing in here. Like eventually this, something is gonna like pop out like an arm. Yeah, something's gonna happen. <laughs> a bridge troll. Yeah, this is how you we'll just send him down to Florida immediately <laughs> to find his peer. This is fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even let's see. Oh no! I thought I thought there was something leaking out of it. Never mind. It's like, <laughs> yeah, man. I don't. I, Anyways, who, it's gross. Cool, yeah. cool. <laughs> I, I'm hoping it's worth money. I <laughs> yeah, I hope it is. You should put but, it up, man. See what. It, you <laughs> know, if I ever get like a basement or something, I got all this fucking memorabilia oh, yeah. from Rick and yeah. some of my, my trophies and get the all time Detroit Tigers. I, sh- team I might be getting another trophy this year. I do like that you put uh, Microsoft Office 2007 <laughs> up on there <laughs> on display. <Yeah. laughs> it's very cool. Like you, must be, you must be very proud of that <laughs> S- that system. 2007 was a hell of a year yeah. for Microsoft Office. Yeah. It's autographed by Bill Gates. Man. <laughs> It's part of my trophy room. <laughs> that gumball machine. Yeah, that gumball machine, that gumball machine must be very special to you. Yeah. It is. I like. Hey, you're it. lucky that didn't fall on your head, dude. Yeah, that would have fucked you Yeah, I don't know if that's up. real glass or not. I think it is. I think it's real glass. Well, then there's the metal underneath it. I mean, you get well, that. Yeah. It's on your shelf of a complex. It better be real. Yeah. Glass. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> For sure. And there's a hanger up there. <laughs> Why? <laughs> What is it's going on in this favorite sh- hanger, man? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I think uh, what's that trophy on the top right, ne- next to the bowling guy? Uh, the other bowling one? Is that like badminton? No, <laughs> <laughs> that's, it's a oh, that. bowling ball going into pins, like exploding. <laughs> <laughs> Not badminton. Um, that would have been awesome if you won a trophy for badminton. That would be not. Nah, uh, that would have been bad mitten ass. <laughs> Jesus it would have been, but no, I think I just pick up stuff from the floor, and instead of putting it away, I just put it on these shelves. I just like that. I like that you p- put it on like the to- the highest shelf. <laughs> like, let me reach up six yeah. feet and put it. On this shelf. <laughs> well, if, as you can see, I got like pliers <laughs> on this one, right? And you always need those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and Microsoft Office, I and there used to be there used to be a package of <laughs> candles on there, <laughs> so I'm sure this shelf probably got. You know, it has a little too much stuff on it, so that's why I had to go to the higher shelf. All right, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. You know? In a, in a roundabout way. I'm just, uh, I'm prepared for the worst right now. Oh, and man. that's how I prepare, by putting stuff on my shelf. Yeah, I, get, I, I hear you. You gotta, you gotta shelf it. I gotta shelter it. Yep. The Brian Quick shelter. <laughs> uh all right, I think, I think we accomplished yeah, everything. Yeah, I think, uh... I think we got, we get, did a uh, pretty good... What am I? Oh, you? No. You got something to say? <laughs> yeah. You just oh, yeah. I'm All good. right. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. They, you know, they can't see. They can't see your sign language. So. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, yeah, I think that wraps it up. Yeah, uh, Moose, yeah. thanks for coming by, man. Yeah, yeah man, it was tight. Yeah, hopefully next time you come by, if you if you want to come back on the show, we'll get the sixty four actually working. And yeah, let's do it, man. Yeah, we'll get let's it. Get the revenge going. Get it going and WCW uh, versus NWO. That would be good. Get yeah, a nice uh, Royal Rumble or something going. Right, on there. that's a good idea. Yeah, because you could they do got the lu- they got the luchadors in there. Yeah, do they really? They have Aki Man. They or got THQ Aki Man. man. They got La Parka. Yeah. What's THQ Man? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the fuck is that? Tell you the truth, I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor Frankenstein. Yeah. They got like some made up dudes yeah. in there. Oh really? All right. Do they have uh, Ho Chi Minh? Uh, I think. What's oh fuck? <laughs> There's a bunch of them. They got like that's WCW, right? Do yeah. they have like Jay Leno in it? No, they have Eric like, Bischoff though. Oh, they have David Arquette. No, oh. that was pre pre Arquette. Oh okay. They this got is... Big Reese. They do have Big Reese. 
That'd be pretty cool. He was the he was the Yeti. Yes. <laughs> Who's the Yeti? Well, the, remember, the you've never seen the clip that like uh, the giant was versus Hulk Hogan, and the Yeti comes out and they're like, "It's the Yeti," and they no. they just like bear hug Hogan and like hump him. <laughs> what? No. Dude, you gotta watch this clip, dude. I can't believe you've is never this, seen this. Is this like Shockmaster era? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, this was post Shockmaster, but it's okay. like. It, it, like when people say it's like the worst thing that's ever happened in wrestling, it's the Shockmaster and yet, the Yeti. Okay. They're I'm like, oh, it, like I think out. it's Shivani. He's like, it's the Yeti. Oh, well, Shivani's yeah, the shit. Bad. I'm gonna definitely have to check it's this out. Like, but, um, yeah, man, the revenge is uh, it's got. It was ahead of its time, man. Uh, La Parca. So La Parca there, there was another good. dude named. This was a couple months ago. There was another dude named La Parca, right? Mm-hmm. Another wrestler. I think he wore like the same shit. But it, like Twitter, the guy died, right? And it was like t- it was on trending on Twitter. It was like Laparka dies, blah blah blah. So I look at it, and I'm like, oh man, Laparka died. Right. And in the main tweet, it was like Laparka dies at age whatever, n- not the WCW version of Laparka. <laughs> so everyone was tweeting like, who the fuck cares about this guy that no one else knows? <laughs> Dude, I I remember one time I was in like Mexico or some shit on vacation, one of those trips, mm-hmm. and there was wrestling on, and there was like everyone was like Laparka. <laughs> Like, I swear to God, like everyone was wearing the same shit. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's awesome. I don't know if it was just I seen it at like when they were doing something, or, right. or that's just how it, it is. It was on TV. Yeah, that's awesome. It was a bunch of Laparkas, dude. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, mm-hmm. when we were in Cancun, we were watching. Park full we, of we watched Gordy Shore. Oh yeah, and that's like the Jersey Shore, but in Europe. I heard of it. Really? Yeah. Sounds horrible. <laughs> we watched that the and Gordy like Shore. bad shark movies. Like Amen. Jersey Shark uh, Shark Attack, Jersey, Jersey Shore sh- char- Shark Attack, a lot of three Jersey, headed, a lot of three Jersey. three headed <laughs> Shark Attack, five headed Shark Attack, man, Trailer Park Shark Attack. Y'all watch a lot of movies on vacation. How does, how does, wait a minute, how does the shark get into the trailer park? That's what I want to know. That's what you got to watch to hey, find man. out. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah, man. man, it's they're great <laughs> movies, dude. And like they'll play them all at once. Like we were in Vegas one time and. Uh, the like, we were we were, we, we weren't winning you know so we needed a day to like just chill in the room yeah so like, we watched all these fucking sci-fi shark movies because me b and my brother did it change your winnings no but it, it kept us from losing right right but and then me and b just got fucked up <laughs> it wasn't good <laughs> luck though the next day I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. I know me uh, we finished off we got a cabana. The next day, and we finished off two fifths at the cabana, just the three of us. All right, well, so, it sounds like you probably did all right. It was, it was a pretty fun time. It's not bad. It's not a bad way but, to go. Yeah, but yeah, uh, we got thir- or Tuesday. We got the we're doing a split St. Patrick's Day. Yep, show before and after. We're doing the before pre gaming, and then whatever time we get back from the bars, it could be four o'clock in the afternoon, it could be six, it could be ten, it could be midnight. Or it could be two in the morning. Going live right after. We're the going yep. right after. Yep. And uh, no, right look on. out. No clue what we're going to talk about. No clue if we're even going to be able to get this video game system going up. But well, so. we'll see. I we'll, got faith. We got it. If worst case scenario, I got emulators. We can hook up some emulators. So right, but I'm saying like after the bar, we might not be able to. Oh yeah. <laughs> we yep. might not be able to uh, do that because just being too drunk. Yes. yes. But uh, it should be interesting. Um, and then I think we teased it last time too. We got a WrestleMania pre show coming up. Yep. When um, well, if and when the WrestleMania comes on. But right. yeah. Yep, that's coming up. And uh is that a lot like of big getting stuff. delayed or something? Well it could be. Yeah. It, it's a possibility. But uh that's again, thanks suck. Moose for coming by, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Thanks, guys. It was a pleasure. Years, uh, hopefully we'll be able to have you as a guest again. And, Absolutely. Uh check us out at sixty four bit legends on Twitter and sixty four bit. Yeah. And yep. uh Spotify, Google Play, all iTunes, that shit. subscribe iTunes. to that, rate it up, give it a five star or whatever. I don't know how you rate this, but just give it a good one and, uh, you know, just share it around. Like, listen, I want you to take this podcast and I want you to go to your family members and sell it like Amway. <laughs> I want you just to start pushing it on all of your close friends and family members and guilt them into listening. It'll be good. It'll be good for you. It'll be good for yeah. us. It's a win win. Win win for please, everyone. Please yes. follow us. Multi level marketing is what I like to call it. We might even do a giveaway. Yeah. Of a thousand dollars for a t-shirt. I'm gonna, <laughs> just gonna stop right now. Peace. <laughs>